Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome to the GV stream. Ladies and gentlemen, today is May 13th, 2019. Uh, this is the release day for Rage 2. I put it in quotes because it's supposed to release tomorrow, but games these days tend to release a day earlier, so I have no idea what the deal is with that. This sounds still too high. Hold on. Fuck. All right. Um, if I seem a little off kilter at the moment, it's because it has been a pain in the fucking ass trying to play this goddamn game. The people in the chat have already heard me talk about this to no end, so I'm going to keep it extremely short. Point is, Bethesda sucks dick and doesn't know what they're doing in so many respects. I have paid them $60 on their shitty launcher to try and play this game. It doesn't recognize that I've paid... It recognizes that I've paid them, but the order status for a digital download is still submitted, not completed. So I can't play it on their damn launcher. So they have $60 of my money, and I don't have a digital game. So I have to play this on Steam, which was my original intention, but it released an hour earlier on the launcher, so I was trying to play it on that. So now I have two copies of this fucking game, and I have to get a refund from Bethesda. So I am very filled with rage at the moment because it's ridiculous I could go into far more detail just know that these days Bethesda seems to know less and less what the fuck they're doing but nevertheless this is on Steam this is with the next box one controller and this is with my new PC which auto detected the game to ultra so we should be good to go my plan for this game is to do a complete playthrough of it at the end of the day I paid 60 bucks for it so we're gonna give it its fair shot I never played the original rage we streamed it once but I didn't get far this game, though, uh, I'm willing to jump in and see where it takes us. So, let's do it. Message of the day, Insanity has arrived. Welcome to Rage 2. Ready to go, Ranger. Rage 2 is out now. Get in there. Yep. Uh, I am ready to go. Let's go new game. Let's go normal. And again, chat, if you could please let me know if the volume is ever not balanced. I'd really appreciate it. I have a feeling it might be too low we now. We had such plans. For this world, our Earth, so mercifully cleansed by the meteor they named Apophis, we had such plans, all thwarted by one man, Nicholas Rain. Was it the player character With the push in one? Of a button, our future was ended. The arcs emerged. The eco-pods came tumbling down, all premature, pouring life back into the barren lands, starting the cycle of life anew, as we had planned to do with our own species. Our plans were thwarted by the naive and arrogant masses. The cleansing of our weakened species was hindered. Our aid selfishly refused. They chose their own pitiful existence over the future of the breed. Such hubris. Okay, so they Rain was the main character defeated. in we Rage 1. They believe us defeated, but we moved underground. We watched their petty squabbles, their meaningless turf wars, their childish attempts at order from chaos, and we grew strong. Our science, our expertise, all aligned, all with one sole purpose, the surgical culling of the weak. Man reborn! We tear down their defenses, we take their compounds, we take the arcs. We raise their settlements and townships to the ground. Tonight marks the beginning of the cleansing. Tonight <laughs> marks the rebirth of the authority. Rain was a super soldier frozen in a capsule to release the Ark so the human race could have the resources to rebuild. Right, I remember that. What's going on out there? Nothing good. Better gear up and move out. Oh, there's a choice between male or female. I didn't know that. Uh, thanks again, RidersArrow15, for the 35 months, and hello to you. I think I think you said, what's my graphics card right now? Uh, it is the... I think it's a drill? It sound like a drill. GeForce RTX 2080. Um, we're going to go with male. I need to do some sort of female playthrough at some point, but my always gut just tells me to go with male because I've always been playing male characters since I was a little boy. So. That's what we have to work with. Okay. Let's go time, right? 
Yeah, grab your gear. Grab your weapons. Consider consider them grabbed. Yeah, I remember that from the first game. You got this sort of boomerang thing. Oh, well, she's fucking dead. <laughs> okay, I actually like that a lot. They immediately kill the character that you didn't pick. Come on, Lily, that was my kill. That's you pretty funny. Faster, Walker. Lily, the closest thing I ever had to family. We grew up here in Vineland, raised by her drill sergeant of a mother. Me? I'm an orphan. I don't have a mother. That's true. There's plenty more where that came from. We have a female shepherd in the Mass Effect playthrough. This is the big one. All right. Well, let's go fucking get some. Come on. It's time to rage. Leave the guardhouse. Well, you obviously don't know me cuz I need to explore first. Okay, holy shit. <laughs> This is the one game where the sensitivity is at the right spot, actually. So let's reduce these again. Okay. And again, if the, volume's, if the volume is not mixed correctly, please let me know. Fire, aim down sights. You don't say. Why do they put RT on the left of aim down sights? That's weird. It's left trigger. Why not put the left trigger on the left? Hello? Ooh. This game feels nice, man, already. This game, this game kind of feels a lot like um, Doom 2016, which id Software made as well. And Doom 2016 was a fucking amazing game. Yeah, right off the bat, this game feels really nice. Very smooth. What is this? Are we just jumping? I guess we're just jumping, huh? No! What? Okay, I guess we're not jumping. Oh, there's a zip line. Let's fucking do it, bro! Jeez, I missed all those fucking shots. Holy shit. That was terrible. The wing stick is like RB or something, right? Yeah! Okay, where's my health at? 73. Oh. This game feels nice. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, right fucking now. This game feels really nice. Feltrite cells. Pick up Feltrite cells from fallen enemies to regenerate health. Keep in mind that Feltrite cells are highly unstable, though, and will dissolve if not picked up quickly enough. Oh, okay. So what's the melee? That's the melee. Right stick, yeah. I'm trying to learn things, lady. Health infusion. If you've taken a lot of damage, use a health infusion to regain vitali vitality. Oh, shit! I just realized there's a Twitch, uh... There's a Twitch... Yeah, please no spoilers, but, you know, new games, so that's not... I don't expect that to happen, but it goes without saying this is a blind playthrough. <laughs> there's a Twitch integration for this. Yeah, by the way, chat, I forgot to mention, there's a Twitch integration for this that they made where um, if I die, you guys can actually play a mini game and, like, resurrect me or some shit. But I guess they don't have it set up right now? Do they not? Is that not out? I wanted to set that up uh, for this stream. Holy shit, Grovana Slut, thanks for the thousand bits. Okay, <laughs> let's listen to this very intensive message. It's Jersey! Everybody knows Jersey's sick as fuck, dude. Oh, he was sick. <laughs> he was sick as fuck. So much for Ranger Jersey. It's not gonna defib out of that. Is he can defib me somehow? Probably in cheats. Uh, let's look at cheats real quick then. Uh, Gorana Slut, thank you very much for the thousand bits. Uh, that's why I took the bits notification off on the on the UI here because, like I said, the leaderboard is every month at the top, so you can see just just how much. Uh, Grovana Slut has, has given this month just in just in bits alone. So thank you very much, Grovana Slut. Uh, you are 
very generous, as I've said, 20 million thousand times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enabling some cheats will permanently disable your ability to earn achievements for the save. Always save first before using cheats. Whenever you load a save, all cheats will be switched off. Voice packs. Okay, it doesn't look like it's... It was on his... He was almost done with the game? What the fuck? Wait, so how do I do it? Uh... Yeah, let's figure that out right now, because I, I would love to have Twitch integration. Rage to Twitch. You might have to do it, like, on a website or something. Um, Rage to Twitch integration. Why is it not a setting in the game, though? Rage 2 lets, you play, lets people play a game if they're streaming. Yeah, I already read this article, um, but I don't know how to activate it. There seems to be no setting for it. Uh, does anybody know how to do this? We have integrated Twitch extension into our game. Oh, is it an extension? Oh. Oh, it's probably... Yeah, I think I remember that. Oh, God. All right. Uh, let me see if I can do this quickly, chat. Hold on. So, if I go to Twitch extensions and I search them and I search Rage... There it is, Rage 2 Defibrillator. While the player attempts to revive, viewers can help by using their own defibrillator controls and feed extra life back to the player. Alright, I'm going to try installing it. Extension installed successfully. You have to activate it. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's do that. So there it is. You must link your Bethesda Net account to your Twitch account for the extension to work. The steps are simple. Okay, log into Bethesda. I've already done that. Alright, just bear with me, chat, because I think this would be cool if we can do it. Alright, so I'm logged in. Click on your profile on the top right page. Click link, uh, click linked accounts option. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to have to link this with Twitch. Uh, link your Twitch. Gotcha. Okay. What? Oh, it's already linked. What the fuck? Okay, it's linked. Uh, green circle with a check mark verifies it's linked. Yep, Bethesda, if you installed, your account is now linked. Skip to step eight. No. Steam install. If you installed Rage 2 from Steam, then you will need your, to link your Twitch account to your Steam account from the connections page. Okay. God damn. Uh, it's connected as well already. Then launch Rage 2 and go into settings. Bethesda.net. Check to see if you're logged in. If not, log in with your Bethesda account to complete the link. Alright. So, I go to settings over here. And then press Y, I guess. No, go here. Oh! God damn you! <sighs> Alright, one sec. We're going to show some info. <coughs> Settings, Bethesda.net. Check to see if you're logged in. If not, log in with your Bethesda account to go to, to complete the link. I seem to be logged in. Yeah. Return to your Twitch creator dashboard. Activate the extension and start... Okay, so it was literally already fucking done. I just needed to... <laughs> okay. Uh, it was literally al already done. Uh, do you guys see... You know what? I'm going to have to remove one is what I think. So I'm going to activate it. Yeah, I have to remove one of these. God damn it. Uh, well, let's remove the... Set as component one or two. Okay, set as component one. Drag and drop the selected component. Select the default anchor point within the video player. Okay. What? All right, so I'm going to put it on the left side of the screen, I guess? Save. The extension rage to defibrillator is now active on slot extension component one. <laughs> okay, chat, if you refresh the stream, do you see any sort of defibrillator type deal? Do you guys see it? Is there some sort of thing now? I do without refreshing. Looks like it's set up for me. Okay, you guys see it? Bottom of the screen. Don't even need to refresh. Okay, sweet. So, apparently how this works, chat, is that... Uh, if I dot... What are you doing? What the f... Oh, hold on, hold on. Go, bro, go back. There we go, okay. Alright, let me get out all these links that I just opened. Okay. Alright, thank you for letting me know. So apparently, chat, if I die in the game, you all can play some sort of mini-game... What have I missed so far? Also, what's up? Not much. We house? just started. Thank you very much, Quesadilla, for the 500 bits. Welcome to the stream. We just started. You, you made some excellent time here. Okay. We really need to get this rolling because this is fucking two and a half hours into the stream. 
Thank you, Quesadier, for those 500 bits. All right, so anybody, uh, apparently how this works is if I die in the, in the game, you can use that defibrillator thing on the, I guess, left side of the screen to revive me. And the more people that do it, from what I understand, the more health I get back. So that's pretty fucking cool. So, yeah, we'll have that rolling the whole time. I don't know how it works, because I don't know how it's on your end, but let me know if there's any issues, or we'll just see once we die, I guess. All right. It's all up to me now. Put on the ranger armor. You got it. Shit. Mom's gonna skin you alive messing with ranger gear. Uh, but it's still got a lot of jersey in it. Yeah, but it's our only shot. Oh, yeah. This is even better than I thought. This is so doom already. This is very much like Doom. Okay, I like the look of that. Reach the courtyard. Tap Y to quickly switch weapons between recently used weapons or hold Y to access the full loadout. Well, I like an assault rifle, so let's stick with that. Yeah, I'm not using cover, by the way. The wing stick is a versatile and deadly gadget that can be used in combination with your other weapons. Tap, throw, wing stick. Yep, I already used it. Man, this guy's strong. Man, this game is nice looking. I, I, I know I keep saying it, but holy shit. This game is really, really nice looking. Hello, Blessy. Welcome to the stream. Oh, we got a plastered request. Nice. Okay, where are we going? This way. There's got to be a slide, right? There. <laughs> yep, yep. Use grenades to deal massive damage and even take out multiple hostiles that are huddled together. Tap throw grenade. RB cu uh, cook grenade. Okay, switch gadget. So do I need to switch? Because it's on the wing stick? Uh, let's just tap it. No, cause, yeah, it's the wing. Okay, so if I, if I press down. Yeah, now it's on the grenade. Uh, all right, we'll tap it. There's a grenade. Ooh, it ba- Okay, we're gonna cook it. Oh, that's cool. Dude, this game is sleek as fuck! Alright. I'm already liking this more than I thought I was going to. This game is sleek as fuck, man. L plus A, step up. I don't really like that movie, but... Okay. Hold LB to focus and highlight enemies and objects of tactical importance. Using focus also attracts nearby Feltrite to you. So there we go. I guess if we're blind and we don't know what an enemy looks like, we can use that. Trying to go for headshots. Usually gets you achievement progress. Explodies! Explo- <laughs> Big Explodies! Big explosions. Should have made the lights behind me pink. I know that's the that's the kind of thing for this game. It's the color for this game. I think I do need to adjust the settings. It feels a little bit the the um the sensitivity does feel a little bit regiment a uh, little bit uh, rigid. These guys are the fucking guys from Doom. Get over here. Hold on. Walker's inbound. Not literally, but they are li <laughs> they're those guys with the um I forget what they're called, but with the li the little jetpacks. That's what they look like. Yeah, I need to change the aim down sight sensitivity. When you aim down sights, it becomes way too like uh rigid. Like I have a helmet? No. Okay, so we can hold LB to drag all that health to us. We're still at max health. You remember what they told us at the academy about the Ranger armors? You can overdrive when it's charged. Cut your enemy to pieces. Ah, uh, there's fucking day. I was hoping that there was not gonna be anything in like the in the environments. Intellitange, Ranger Report, Checkpoint Bridge Overrun. Was on patrol out by the old checkpoint bridge. God damn how loud is this shit? Was on patrol out by the old checkpoint bridge and was amazed to find it overrun by bandits. They are trying to ambush convoys that are passing through. It's worrying to see them so confident. We killed a few and scared off the rest, but they'll be back. We need to get rid of them before they dig and properly ranger jersey out. 
Data pad collected. Something out of 10. Or just plus 10, whatever that was. Okay, so we'll keep an eye out for the, um, for the, yeah, for the things. Yeah, let me, uh, let me adjust the sensitivity real quick. So, aim down sight sensitivity is very low. So let's put that up to, like, 40. Let's go 38. And then we'll do, like, these. We'll bump them up by, like, 2. Okay. Might be the best of both worlds. How is the, um... How is the volume, Chaz? Is still good with all the crazy shit going on? And Teeters did redeem plastered photo in Discord. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, God. All right. We'll check that later. Kill enemies in succession to charge overdrive, which grants the damage, increases the damage you deal. When fully charged, you can activate overdrive by pressing LB and RB. While using overdrive, you also gain health. It's like Spartan. Spartan, whatever it's called. From game, uh, uh, from uh, God of War, basically. Oh, so I guess we have it now. Okay. Overdrive. I should have activated that around all those dudes, but whatever. They're really not doing too much, uh, too much damage to me, even though we're getting hit quite a bit. This might be one of those games where normal difficulty is too easy, you know? Okay, we need to head up there. Yeah, I'm not sure how many collectibles or whatever we're missing. I'm going to assume this is... I thought this was an open world game, right? Yeah, honestly, shit, the game does look spectacular. Uh, I'm very surprised. I thought it might be good, but I didn't think it would be this good. Jeez. We have to see, though, because they're going to make the intro the best they can possibly make it. Dear old Aunt Prowley, decorated war hero, ranger, and role model. Especially for Lily. She took me in when my parents died. <laughs> the meanest mom this orphan wildcard never asked for. Reporting for duty. Come here. I bet she's a rough and tumble type of gal. That's Jersey's armor. Jersey. They killed him. You're brave enough to put on his armor. You're brave enough to do his job. Fuck is that? I ain't that brave. Makes an easy target. Can't be. He should be dead. General Cross. That was unnecessary. Now your boots all bloody. I want the first genus. Kill everything else. General Cross, the evil leader of the evil authority. Our own boogeyman. A bedtime story for naughty kids like me. I wish they let you pause I don't know during if this. lost it or if it's really true. You know this though. If it is, I'm not going to stand for it. I wish they let you pause during this. So you could actually read it. Say goodbye to mom. Man, that gun is powerful as fuck. Uh, Quesadilla, thanks for the kitty treats. We'll do that in a sec. And also check the Discord for that picture, which I'm sure is going to be amazing. Arwina Prowley, is that you? I was set to spare the lives of you original archists for experimentation. But for you, I'll make an exception for old times, Arwina. <laughs> Yep, knew she was dead. After all, your uselessness is what once spared my life. Can we get some Vana rips in the chat for Grandma, please, and thank you. Ray tracing? I don't even think that was an option. I don't have the 2080 Ti, which is the one that has the ray tracing, so... As far as my research told me about the ray tracing, it's, it's a thing that not a lot of games are really utilizing... 
or at least they're not use li utilizing it efficiently yet. So I didn't think it was an important. Let's see if we can jump start this. Pay. Clear. I, I didn't We're think I needed to spend the extra five hundred bucks, basically, on the TI. For sake. Oh, I was conscious. Yeah, you were. But your shiny new armor needed a jolt. Okay, that was a really good opening, man. This game feels as good to play as Doom 2016 did, so which this is it then. This is all that's left. About the most visceral fun jumping into a Just game fast gameplay I've ever played. Still digging out the ruins. So if the rest is like that, probably. that's a good start. It was General Cross. He He killed her. He killed my mother. Yeah, but he still got the cool hair, so I it's all know. good. Gotta stop them. And I'll personally wring the neck of that goddamn wrinkled bastard. I do like that hairstyle. I never really believed the stories. That the authority would return. Well, they did. We gotta do something about it. Mom knew what to do. The Rangers knew. Wait a minute. They kept their files, the logs. They kept them in the Presidio. The Ranger CP? You nuts. Only Rangers can go in there. Look at me, Lily. <laughs> I'm the only Ranger left. Holy oh. shit. <sighs> you really are. My PC was very expensive. I'm not going to say the amount, but... It goes to the... The, um, the credit goes to the chat and anybody... The chat, the patrons, anybody that contributed towards it, because... It would have never happened if uh, all those sub gifts, all those patron money, all the t-shirt sales, all that shit. It would have never happened. So it was very expensive. I'm not going to say the number, but it's because of them. Um, and I didn't realize that anything above that had the ray tracing. I thought I was under the impression only the TI did. So I guess it does have ray tracing then. Yeah, $20,000. Yep. <laughs> Intel attained Ranger Report Ravine Ambush Site. Sir, I'm requesting reinforcements so that we can take care of the ravine ambush site the bandits have set up an encampment at a very tactically significant location and they have complete control over the road the only way in or out is a direct frontal assault over the bridge i will continue to scout the location maybe we can find another way in range report ravine ambush site i don't know if that matters at all we're getting points towards something i guess just being a ranger i suppose god damn this game feels so slick man well fucking rip <laughs> uh okay let's head over to whatever that is one thing I also didn't mention was that I don't know shit about this game. Um, like I said, we streamed Rage 1 once, just because I really didn't have... I think it was, it was when Rage 2 was announced. I was like, okay, well, let's stream Rage 1. Um, and that's it. I never played it. I don't uh, really know anything about it. Uh, it was like a... You know, it was, and it was very, like, kind of... It was a decent game, but it never took it a step further, basically. Prowley's Project Legacy Log. Quartermaster, this message concerns the Legacy Project on file. If I'm KIA or MIA, this information is given to the next ranger in the chain of command. Legacy is a project to reclaim old Ark tech that was sealed in old Arcs during the Authority War. Weapons and dispensers with nanotrite strains that could enhance any ranger greatly. To access the sealed arcs, a DNA scanner verifies that you belong to the Ark Elite Commandos. This, the locations of the sealed arcs were a secret kept by logistics chief Jack Portman, who died in the war. They could be found anywhere. I only know the location of two such arcs. One of them is in the origin arc for Vineland that me and Walker's parents came from. Okay. So from what I understand and from what I remember in Rage 1, yeah, you play as a dude that comes out of an arc... Basically, like, the whole world was apocalyptic, it was all destroyed or something, but then there were these arcs that, like, kept certain humans, um, alive in order for them to rebuild once things quieted down. And then, you know, so it's kind of like Fallout with the vaults, right? Uh, take that. Uh, and then, um, yeah, they also had the capability to, like, regrow... Oh, same thing as Fallout, now that I think about it, yeah, because they had, like, Gex, basically, from what I understand, to regrow the world... Uh, I don't know anything about the story, though. I'd imagine you succeeded in whatever you wanted to do, and then that general guy is the ultimate bad guy, and I guess you thought that he died, but really he didn't die, so now he's back for more havoc, I suppose. Yeah, it doesn't strike me as the type of game you really need to pay too much attention to the story, though, because it's all about the gameplay, just like with Doom. And by the way, if you like this game, holy shit, you need to play 2016 Doom, because it is one of the best games I've ever played in terms of the, like, action combat shooter sort of 
situation. It's so fucking good. And it's made by these people, too. That'd be a good playthrough to do again at some point. Here, be very fast. GV, rank one, and streamer extra extraordinaire. Is that a fidget spinner icon? Is this a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Oh, where's Batman at? Uh, Catsettos. Catsettos, thank you for the... Yeah, I, I appreciate it. I, I can tell you, as I've told many people, they seriously are the best. And of course, any cat, any pet owner is going to say that, but they are the best fucking cats in the entire world, and they deserve all of the love and praise all of you people give them, as well as all the treats and everything. And I know we still got that treat, so I'm going to try to... Just trying to get the game started, as usual, you know. Uh, but thank you. Arcs are extremely valuable and can contain both arc weapons and nano tried abilities. Search for arcs across the wasteland to become more powerful. I like the sign. I like the sound of that because when we did Horizon Zero Dawn, one of my favorite things was doing the um, I forget what they're called, the big, the big vaults or whatever with the technology in them. Approach the arc, face the door, and use focus by holding LB to open it up. You got it. Ratters AR15, thank you for the gifted sub to Cat Seto. Thank you very much, and again, thanks to all of our sub-gifters, all of our bitters, all of our donors, everybody. Because, yeah, I would not be playing this game on ultra quality right now if it weren't for you. And I know it sounds greedy, it sounds like, you know, uh, I got a computer out of all that. But seriously, I needed an upgrade uh, for, for streaming and for YouTube, so I really do appreciate all of it. Security scanning complete. Welcome to ARC 401A. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to be really excited to grab all these arcs across the wasteland. Uh, I love knocking down things in open world games, like in Horizon, Horizon Zero Dawn, like getting to the top of the long necks. It's so fun for me. So Nano tried injector. Hand into this strange hole and hope for the best. Yep, and if, uh, if prey is any indicator, that means it's going to be very painful. So rip, stick hand into the strange hole. Why not? There goes nothing. Why's it always gotta be like a needle, dude? Welcome to the simulation chamber. In here, you will be able to gain proficiency in the use of your arc weapons and any ID accessions. You have successfully installed ID accession dash. With the dash accession, you will be able to evade incoming threats and become cauldron. Yeah. Oh shit. Damn it! Okay. Tap LB to dash any chosen direction, L to dodge incoming attacks, and throw off your enemy's aim. Dash three times. L plus LB tap dash. Good. Again, please. And again. Good work. I like that. A simulation will allow you to train in the use of your dash succession to evade enemy fire. Okay, let's go. Use dash to avoid three incoming rockets. You got it. I dare you to shoot me, mystery man. Whoop. All right, that's a little slow. <laughs> Thought the rocket was going to be much, much faster. Come on, bud. You can do it. I believe in you. You can hit me. Come on. I know you can't. I know it. Did you hit me? 
I guess not. You have successfully completed your dash accession training. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. I like that. Yeah, I want to see when the game opens up to see, like, what are... Every sandbox game has, like, you know, five or six things that you clean up throughout the whole thing. Come back to the main hall. I have more information for you. So I'm interested to see what they... I'm interested to see, like, what they let us do. There's probably going to be, like, ranger bases that we can sabotage. We already know there's going to be these arcs, which sound really important, right? Uh, what else would there be? I don't know. We'll see. But the, but that's what I thought this was. I thought it was a sandbox game. You know, like, Horizon Zero Dawn. And they're all set up the same way. Oh yeah. Wellspring is the first place in Rage One, right? That guy, I remember him too. Oh. Shit, it was showing us the entire time. Okay. Thank you, Mystery of oh, not Mystery, we know who she is. Work with your allies to get Project Dagger started. So you thought you'd just dump all that on my shoulders and waltz off into oblivion, huh, Aunt Prowley? Well then, I guess it's all up to me now. It is all up to me, and trust me, we're gonna make it happen. Don't lose faith. We're gonna be amazing. Aren't you excited? Oh, Ark that's a Rob Co, that doesn't Look, sound correct there are fanatically. Three people I need to find. John Marshall. Dr. Kvasir and Lusum Hagar. They're all part of a Project Dagger designed to stop the Authority. That's a pretty tall order. Yeah, your mother is no nonsense, even from the afterlife. Too soon, Walker. Sorry, Lily. But, hey, I'm ready to trek out into the wasteland. I think I got just the thing. Come see me. Yeah, man, she's uh, really taking her mom's death quite on the shoulder. <laughs> I don't even detect any sort of mourning in her voice whatsoever. Like, I know the wasteland probably hardens people, but Jesus. What do you have for me, Lily? Hello. So, what you got? Well, I've got lots of ideas for projects, and with your help, we can get them off the ground. They're gonna be key to your survival out there. So, let's get you your ride. Catch your ride! Projects. Welcome to the project screen. Here you are able to purchase projects using project points that you have earned. Projects give a large variety of benefits. At the moment, you only have access to Lily's basic projects. So let's head over there. Okay. So these are the overall projects. And then we've got these basic ones here. The first project that you can purchase unlocks the vehicles menu. We'll also reward you with your very own combat vehicle, the Phoenix. The vehicles menu gives you access to vehicle upgrades and allows you to call in a vehicle whenever you need one. Go ahead and purchase it now by selecting it and holding X. Okay. Fantastic! You've unlocked the vehicles menu. Can be accessed through the menu. Press back to unlock more projects. Gain project points by completing locations and activities in the wasteland. You got it. All right, that's all we can get so far. New vehicle unlocked, Phoenix. By the way, I do have whatever the um, pre-order bonus is. I don't even know what it is. Does anybody in the chat know what that is? This is straight up copying Halo 5's dash. I never played Halo 5, so I wouldn't know. 
Hit the hydration station. I do. Yeah. We're going to take a break very soon. I need to do uh, the kitty treats and I need to look at the plastered ward and I need to grab some water because I feel very fucking dehydrated today. If, I, if my energy is a little bit, if I'm a little bit more reserved today, that's because I feel like a headache coming on. So I'm trying to just be a little bit more quiet <laughs> today. Okay. Thank you. Achievement unlocked the ranger. Phoenix is good to go. There are more projects here that would benefit the two of us. Uh -huh. You need to beef yourself up. I need to get Vineland into some semblance of order. I'm already you're beefy. Lucky. Your three dagger project contacts will offer you a similar deal because you sure need to get tough to take on the authority. Thanks for the tip. All right, we're heading out. It's a big bad world out there, so be careful. And don't go messing people over. You're a ranger now. You better act like it. Oh, and John Marshall in Gun Barrel is your closest dagger. You might want to start there. And be careful. We need you. And I need you! Are we brother and sister or something? I don't want to hit on you just yet in case we're supposed to be related. But no, because he said you're mom. But we could be cousins. I don't know. I, I, I won't make it weird, sorry. Alright, uh, anyways. Free roam. Welcome to the wasteland. You can use the map menu back to locate and track things you can do in the open world. As you explore, more things you can do will be added to the map. Tracking the location on the map will track it with your GPS. The GPS shows you your fastest route there while driving. There are unlocked missions and arcs you can track now in the map menu. Gotcha. Well, let's do it. Well, look at you. A fresh ranger. I'm Phoenix. I know I look good, but I drive better. Okay, Intel attain- Oh, there it is, pre-order. Your items have been delivered. Cult of the Death God. This mission will be unlocked after completing the blackout portion of the main quest line. At the end of the mission, you will receive the Nicholas Rain Armor and Settler Pistol, which I guess is the guy from the first game, as somebody confirmed. Mutant Monster Truck Skin. This has been added to your inventory. Access your garage to enable this vehicle. <laughs> Bro, I didn't fucking pre-order nothing. <laughs> but okay. Uh, so where are we heading first? That one is the closest. Man, this game feels nice. I, the game feels so fucking nice. I wonder how it looks. I, I keep saying that because, again, I don't know the quality of my stream right now. It should be very high. Whoa, 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 whoa! Today is your lucky day. I offer you the chance to race me. Okay. Kind of got a fucking head start, but all right. I guess I should have not... Should have not accepted that until I was like a... What the fuck is the... Oh, I got a boost. That's right. Oh, yeah. Okay. You have to boost with A. I was like, he is so much faster than me. Gumball deuce. Cheap and so I guess that's allowed. What is happening? Bro, I'm already... <laughs> I, yeah, I guess that's allowed. I guess you can just murder him. Tower, just standing here. It's got authority written all over it. Sounds like a sentry tower. Leftovers from the war. Usually they will fire at anything that comes too close, so be careful if you're going to go for it. Yeah, hold on. I got enough on my plate at the moment. Whatever that... Yeah, so that was like the base thing. <laughs> Auto parts are used to purchase arc vehicle upgrades in the vehicles menu. Arc chests, shops, races, and convoys are the best sources for finding auto parts. <laughs> auto parts are used to upgrade your vehicles. Visit the vehicles menu to purchase vehicle upgrades. Uh, what is our handbrake? I'm assuming it's X. Get fucked, by the way, dude. I didn't even mean to kill you. Sorry, bud. We can start a race with him, like, immediately. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. What do we got? Project Dagger. Power up your allies' operations in order to resurrect Project Dagger and defeat General Cross. Okay, so they're going to do this game... Alright, so here's the open world, right? They're going to do this game like, um... They're going to do this game like Mafia 3. Uh, 2K flew me out to play Mafia 3 before it came out. And I never played the, the release... Oh, I did play the release version, I think, once or something. But how they set it up was basically, you gotta, it was open world too, but you gotta work for, like, three different people or something, and then you, you know, increase the territory's power or some shit like that. So it seems like that's what they're doing for this as well. Um, so we got these three people on the left here, but they said start with this one. So we'll go with the one that they suggested first, because, you know, fuck it. Actually, are we close to an arc? We are, aren't we? Okay, let's take a look at what this shit is. Uh, Authority Sentry. So that's, like, the big... So that's like the take down the, you know, base type shit, I guess. What is this? Vineland, your home. Oh, that's where we started? Yeah, okay. There's an arc here. Junkers Pass Arc. Apparently the enemy difficulty is a 2 out of 10. 
The arcs were cryogenic survival shelters for the elite and their equipment. The people are gone, but the same, but some of the still, some still house experimental nanotrite powers and powerful arc tech weapons. Locate, investigate the arc. We get money. We get reputation. Items of interest, arc chest, storage containers, track location. All right, since we're close to that, we'll do that, and then we'll do the main story mission. Uh, she said, yeah, she said start with this one, but there's three people that we can work for. This, yeah, like I said, I don't know how you're seeing, because my bit rate is 6,000, which is the highest it's ever been on this. Wait, why does it tell me to go back? Okay, what is the fucking handbrake? I need to figure out that ASAP. Also, what is the shooty, shooty, rootin' tooty, shooty, shooty button? So A is boost, X is exit. Walker. RB? Gatling guns heavily... He yeah. Okay, L Okay, LB is how you shoot. Uh, and then what is... Is there no handbrake? I don't know. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so the bit rate on this stream is 6,000. It's the highest we've ever had. I, from what I understand, we can go higher. My internet is very good. My upload is very good, so I could do it. Uh, I just... I think Twitch has said, like, going above 6,000 doesn't really make much of a difference. And then it's 1080p, 60 FPS, so... Hopefully you guys are seeing some, like, some really good quality. Because I can tell you on my screen right now, it is amazing. It, 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 like, it's not dropping one frame. And the game looks very, very nice. So I'm very, very, very happy thus far. FC Fight. Yeah, Far Cry. Yeah, that's, yeah, I've never played any of the newer Far, Far Cries. But this, to me, seems definitely more like Far Cry than anything else. So far. Looks great on my end. Okay. 2 a.m. here in the UK. Yeah, sorry, man. I always wish we could give our UK friends some extra time, but it just doesn't fit in my schedule, unfortunately. I have to stream at these times. But it will be uploaded on YouTube, so. Okay, so there are enemies here, it would seem. But we have to actually find the Ark, right? Okay. Now, is there stealth? Thank you, Phoenix. Thank you, uh, 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 uh Sansa Stark. Because <laughs> she's playing the Dark Phoenix. Uh, what's her fucking name? Sophie Turner. Thank you. All right, let's just murder people. What do you think about that? Oh, that's cool. We were, like, shooting off her armor. That's cool. Their armor's falling off. Yeah, as we're, like, shooting at them. God, this game looks slick as fuck, dude! Incendiary mines there. Supply crate. With what? Cash, junk. Gotcha. I'm just gonna rush in. I don't even give a fuck, dude. I'm gonna mess these people up. And I want I, I kinda wanna die too. Ooh. I kinda wanna die so I can see what you guys do. If we die. Wait, are there boobies in this game? Oh, that's a man? I thought that was a woman. I was like, her chest just came off. We about to see some boobies? These all look like women to me. <laughs> oh, I see. So the arc won't actually open up. Like, is this a guy or a girl? Well, it's nothing now is what it is. <laughs> okay, holy shit. I really got to say, chat. This game is fun as fuck right off the bat. It's it's much more fun than I thought it was going to be based on my one little bit of time with Rage One. Rage One was fine, but it just wasn't. It didn't really stand out in any way. This is uh, I'm having a lot of fun with this. Okay, um, are we good? There's the arc. Uh, there's the arc chest. What am I doing? Oh, I gotta open this. Okay. Nanotrite Booster. Nanotrite Boosters allow you to enhance your Nanotrite abilities by upgrading them with perks in the Nanotrite's menu. Arc Chests, Shops, and Intel Traders are the best sources for finding Nanotrite Boosters. You have zero. False. I have one. Liar. Nanotrite Ability Upgrades. Nanotrite Boosters are used to upgrade your Nanotrite abilities. Visit the Nanotrite's menu to purchase upgrades with Nanotrite Boosters and Feltrite. Okay. Jesus fuck. Arc chests always contain valuable loot to upgrade your nanotrite abilities, weapons, and yourself. Seek out more arc chests for more upgrade items. Upgrades for nanotrite abilities and weapons can be done in the men in in the menu. Gotcha. Uh, so there's like six storage containers around here, apparently. What does that look like? And can we not open this? Oh, we can't. Ah, that's that's why. This game is gory. Quite gory, yeah. Rage 1 was bland as fuck. 
It was not this good for in, with my experience, but it was also like what from 2013. It was it was quite a while ago. Okay, we got another. So that's two nano jite, nano trite injectors from this one place, right? Oh, you get a power from each one of these. Okay. Is a forward lunge that unleashes a powerful kinetic force capable of stripping armor and displacing enemies and objects. I keep doing that, goddammit. Alright, you're gonna have to tell me what to do again because I keep accidentally skipping the tutorial message. How do I do it? Is that left on the D-pad, maybe? Nope. You could go ahead and tell me how to <laughs> how to use that. I see it over there. Is it X? RT? What do I... Okay, there we go. Oh, we had to walk up for it. LB hold plus X is shattered. Again. This is just like a force you force push. The armor. Okay, so we want to start we want to start with that so that they we get rid of their armor and then we can shoot them with guns obviously. All right, I can dig it. You So everything's on the LB. So how do I? How do I? How did I do the the jumps? I'm forgetting. Uh, we have not done the defib yet. I, dude, honestly, this game doesn't seem that difficult. So I might just have to die in order to see it. We'll get. We'll get. We'll. You know. We'll start the first story mission and see. But uh, this game seems easy so far. So I don't. <laughs> I don't know when we're gonna die. Junkers Pass Arc. Locate and investigate the Arc 122 monies. And because I guess it's in this guy's territory, we get like a reputation increase as well. You have earned a project point. You can use these to purchase projects. With yeah, yeah, yeah. You already hey, told me about that, that dude. Arc was brimming with some Tutorial messages. Abilities and weapons found in arcs can be upgraded. To upgrade your abilities and weapons, you can find an anotripe boosters and weapon core mods in arc chests and shops. You can use these upgrade items from that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty jealous right now, so keep a lid on it, will you? Okay, let's go back to the wing stick. And use that. Let's use our new force push it. No, we got... Okay. Whoa! Okay, actually... <laughs> yeah, that's about right. As soon as I said the game seemed easy. Okay, we gotta be a little more cautious than that. We almost died there, so... Yeah, we'll probably die. Given my play style, which is always just Russian, we'll probably die. Oh, shit. Whoa! I thought it was just going to strip her armor. It just killed her. Can we get rid of that? Oh, we need to let the force push recharge. Uh, how do I get around... Ride armor, man. Guess we don't have to get around him. Alright. Suck in all those little health bar things. Oh! If we use overdrive to restore HP, might as well, right? Because it probably falls down. Walker, Dr. Spock here is still out there, and we have to find him. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that one just yet. I'm going to do the guy first, lady. But I need to figure out what the supply crates are. I mean, these look like supply crates, right? Wait, are we already done with this area? Items of interest. Storage containers, one out of six. Oh, so it's like the silver ones, I guess. So we're looking for... We're looking for five more silver chests, but I, I'm not seeing any down here. What the hell's going on over here? Man, that's pretty cool. That, that's pretty fucking far away. Uh, okay, I just want to do this objective. Oh, that's a storage container. Okay, there it is. Okay, so we got to find... Yeah, these... Yeah, I'm going to talk to the chat, and we're going to handle all that stuff in just a sec. I uh, just want to finish this place off. Storage container opened. Okay. So you need to find three more of those in this particular area, since I do want to... This definitely seems like the type of game that I would 100%, without a doubt. Um, although I got to balance it with Persona, because I'm loving the fuck out of Persona 5. Okay, so there's one right there. What are those crystals, do we know? Smelly soap, new car? Mechanical component? 
4th of July kit. So all these are like crafting materials, I'm assuming. Okay, we're missing like what? Two more of these purple chests. Or pink chests. Everything in this game is pink. Can we like take some ammo out of this? Yeah, there we go. Pistol rounds maxed. Okay, everything's maxed out. Let me know if you see a container check because I'm missing just like one or two. It's probably on the other side over there. Yeah, you gotta get used to the sensitivity of this game too. The sensitivity is a little... It's not limber yet. It doesn't feel limber. It feels a little rigid, if you know what I mean. Okay, there's one. Is that the last one? One more. Hmm. Oh, there it is. I see it. It's on the little bridge. Could we have used this? No. Okay. This place is completed. Let's see if we get any bonuses or anything. No bonuses. All right, we'll go meet the guy, and then we'll, like, upgrade with all the... We got, like, 14 upgrade points or some shit, so... Yeah, we'll go We'll go talk to the guy, get our first story mission, and then we'll, um... You know, go through our character and see what we can do. Can we just save? Oh, great. Okay. Okay, sweet. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, uh, handle all this stuff real quick. Yeah, first impression is really good. Um, much better than I was expecting. Much, much, much better. Okay, we have a... Kitty treats. Let's do that first and foremost. Kitties! It's time. Thank you very much, K. So Dio, for the kitty treats. The kitties say thank you. There's one for little Greyjoy here. Who never seems to be able... It, it went under... You got it. There you go. You don't got to think too hard about it, buddy. And there's one for Yen. Thank you very much, K. So Dio. Uh, oh, we have another one, too. Uh, from Watari, um, who says, loving this playthrough. Thank you. Okay, you guys get a double up. There's one for you. No, Yen. Here, here. There you go. Ow! She just chooses when she's going to chop my damn fingers. Uh, thank you, Watari and Quesadilla, for those kitty treats. Uh, okay, and then we have a plastered from Teetersp, who apparently says... Whatever it is is in the Discord. So let's check the Discord. And, uh, yeah, again, because of all the gifted subs as of late, White Wolf gifted five subs and we had some others. Ratters just gifted one. Um, I'll just throw the Discord link in the chat for anybody that, that would like to join, if you'd like to. Uh, so where'd you put that, T-Tursp? Still pictures, I'm assuming? Uh, no, it's not there. Where did you... Uh, T-Tursp, if you're in the chat... Oh, I have the thing here. Photo in the Discord, you'll know when you see it. But uh, which, uh, which thing is it in? Oh, memes. Okay. What the hell is this? This one's for the fl <laughs> What the hell is this? All right, I'll change it right now. Uh, just give me one second, chat. I'll show you in just one sec. Uh, can I hit the dashboard? Okay, one second. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is what Teeters has chosen to make my dashboard. This is what this is what Teeters has chosen to make my fuck. All my stuff is. Hold on, hold on one second. Where's my chat at? This is what Teeters has chosen here. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. This is a very old emote. It was one of my first emotes. Heavily pixelated and, and expanded. And then it says Grohl Floyd. And it's misspelled. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. But it's now my desktop background for a week. Um, I feel like I've seen this before. But I don't, <laughs> I don't understand the significance. But there we go. Uh, thank you? I guess? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, give me one sec. Uh, yeah, we'll have that up there for a week now. And it is largely blown up, so it looks like shit, but whatever works, am I right? Okay, let me grab the Discord invite for anybody that'd like to join. Uh, normally, like I said, I only give it to people that subscribe or get gifted a subscription or are a patron, but uh, because of all of the immense amount of sub gifts, um, I don't give a shit, so here you go. Uh, if anybody would like to join, there's the Discord link, folks. Okay, uh, I'm going to grab some water, and I'll be right back. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll get right back into this Shad 
XO. Thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. All right, be right back. Okay, uh, yeah. hello everybody. Uh, if I missed anything important in the chat, please let me know. I know I've been missing a lot of chat trying to, you know, get this new game started. By the way, we might extend for another hour till 10 tonight, depending on how I feel. Uh, you know, because this is a new game and all, and we wasted so much fucking time just trying to play it, thanks to Bethesda. Um, the only reason I wouldn't, though, is because I do have, like, sort of a little bit of a headache. Uh, so if it becomes too much, I'll have to just end the stream. Um... And unfortunately, I don't have any more Excedrin. I used my last bit of Excedrin this past week, or er, a couple of days ago. So let's catch up with the chat, and then we're going to jump straight back in, folks. Oh, and to any of our Persona 5 players, I did have a quick question for you, by the way. Should I have kept Arsene? I got rid of him, like, really early on because I needed some other types of uh, Personas for the Confidant bonuses. Uh, should I, like, remake him and level him up? Because a lot of the personas I'm getting through these palaces are very... They don't seem to... Feels like I should have kept him and, like, level up his cursed stuff. So should I, like, remake him and start... And always have him in my party? What do you think? Feel free to keep it up for longer if you want. It is beautiful. It is quite, quite beautiful. I had a graphics pack on, but when I got my new system, it would load correctly. So I had to disable it. I think I missed the start of that. You can resummon Arsene with Igor. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. Should I? I know I can resummon him, but is he worth it? Or do I? should I not care? He's not important? Oh, okay. All right. I'll probably just not have him then. Okay, let's get back into it, folks. There we go. Okay, so yeah. Um, I don't remember... This is not the type of game that I pay a mega amount of attention in uh, to in terms of... Where are we going, by the way? What is this? Four difficulty. I might actually die there. We, we came close to dying here. Yeah, let's just get the main thing started here. Mission objective, blackout. John Marshall of Gun Barrel, a tough, no-nonsense old war horse who keeps that outlaw town running almost single-handedly. Being an old resistance fighter, he underst He understand... Oh, there's already a typo. There's no S there. 
uh, being an old resistance fire, he understand the importance of technology and spycraft better than anyone. His skills are paramount to the success of Project Dagger, but rumor has it that he has some domestic problems. Apparently, the whole town of Gun Barrel is facing the worst mutant infestation in history, and they are fighting a losing battle. Okay, so we're going to track that objective, and then the GPS will let me know. I hope we can get some sort of vehicle that can, like, go off-roads, because uh, this car is cool. But I, I'm the type of person that always tries to just make a direct route to wherever I'm going. And um, it's already forcing me to, you know, kind of, like, follow the roads. What the fuck is that? Three difficulty. We could do it, but I want to get the story stars. Let's do that. The thing is you want to get new skills like going from low curse skills to the medium curse skill and Arsene can't upgrade to that skill. He can be useful for some fusions though. Okay, yeah, I've noticed a lot of the skills that I have currently are not that powerful. Um, and what the... F oh, another question I had is entering region broken tracked. Okay, so this is where this dude is. There's like a thing over there, a question mark, but it looks like it might be up there. And this ain't Breath of the Wild, so I can't climb up that mountain. Um, there's enemies that do, like, you know, hit everybody with ice and in the second palace. And it deals a shitload of damage. Like, what the hell, man? How am I supposed to avoid that? And then they get a weakness, and then they just do it again. They just kill my party instantly. Yes, the fuck is that? Like, I don't even know how I'm supposed to avoid that. I mean, I already beat the second palace, but that was the problem for a little bit, is that... An enemy would just do, you know, hit everybody with ice. It'd get a weakness on whoever is weak to ice. I don't even know in my party. And then they'd do it again just kill my party. What the fuck? Okay, so here's Gun Barrel. All right, so this is where the first man is. And as far as I know from the story, basically, they want to get this project going dagger, and we need to help. Standby mode I, initiate. I know what they're going to do. They're going to make us, you know, help these three people enough to where... They're all on our side, and then they can help us, you know, defeat the whatever, but... Auto traders sell vehicle ammo and auto parts, which are used to upgrade your vehicle. Okay. Intel attained bandit flyer. You want you you want your ride gleaming and slick, right? Take your vehicle to the edge today, just south of gun barrel discounts and cold beverages. We're about to rank step up. up step away. By the way, if any of these people are from Rage 1, I am not going to know. I think they reference one dude, Hagar, and I remember that name... But that's in Wellspring, and I think that was when you, yeah, when you first start Rage 1. Hey, you look tough enough. You interested in some wet work? You know, knock some heads, shoot some 200 muties at the paste. Not looking for a job. I'm here to see John Marshall. Yeah, as it happens, he's the one looking for a skill trigger puller. We got muty problems in Gun Barrel, see? And we can't do shit until we fucking rectify that. Language. Yeah, we'll see about that. Where do I find him? What happened to your voice, man? <laughs> uh-huh. Heading there now. Okay. Oh, uh, whatever that false little greed about tells you, don't try the slime bubble chimichanga. Unless you want to puke your guts out in a thoroughfare. Dude, a chimichanga sounds fucking good right now. Trade towns and trade towns. In trade towns? Man, there's already another fucking... <laughs> typo. In trade towns, there, I'm assuming, or you, I'm assuming, will find many types of traders who you can buy from and sell to. There may be also individuals who can give you information about locations. Trade towns also allows you to fast travel to them using the map. That's two typos. Come on, bro. Uh, what's up, Frankie? Hello. Avoid using weak to ice party members like on and invest in outfits that have high evade even if they have low, low defense. Okay, I just noticed there that was like, whoa, that's like super fucking OP. I was able to get through it, but, um, you know, getting like ambushes on people in Persona 5 is the most important fucking thing, because if you just attack somebody, or God forbid if they get like an ambush on you, you are fucked. They have like some crazy powerful abilities, even on normal. Intel attained exciting excavations, number one. Greetings, faithful reader. It's I, Ransack Tumbled Down, collector of antiques and rare curios. Welcome to the first of my published journals, Exciting Excavations. In this installment, I will retell the tale of how I located a device believed to be the first prototype for the infamous wasteland weapon, the Wing Stick, crafted by legendary pre Apophis genius Christopher Wing. This device was so effective it actually decapitated its creator during a test, te test session. Okay, so we're getting three, whatever that is. Maybe that's the vehicle thing. I'm not exactly sure. 
Riffraff with guns. Finally, we might be in luck. Oh yeah, they had these weird ass hats. I remember that in the first game. Uh, this guy seems like he's getting me a side quest, but again, I just want to talk to the main dude for now. Hey there. Welcome to the Dead Primer Tavern, home of the slime vocal chip changa and the best swamp swill in the wasteland. Check your troubles at the door and dance on in. I don't think there's a dance button. I would if I could. Uh, what they always do in these games, they always cover these people's faces because they reuse the same facial models. So they always give them, like, hats and sunglasses. Uh, they did that exact same thing in Borderlands 2. Intel attained the Cactus Jack. I'm not going to read that one. A lot of these in Intels so far don't seem to be that important. Okay, what's up? Oh, you're new. This is the Dud Primer. Best watering hole in gun barrel. Big crowd, rowdy crowd. Marshall trusts me to keep said crowd in check. Name Soul, Soul TV. Don't worry, I'm not here to start any shit. Good for your face. Now you do look like the action looking kind. You should check out Mutant Bash Arena up north. What a show! What a great show! Okay, I guess we got some sort of side quest from that. And then down here... Watch out for the goddamn beauties, friend. They're sneaky freaks. So this guy had the little dialogue icon on him. I want to see if, what he does if we talk to him. Yeah. I used to run with mountain lords. Man. The things I saw up there. In their big battle building. Oh, man. The stuff they got stashed. So much gear. Guns and, and stuff. <laughs> but that was before the Mountain Lords joined up with the Goon Squad. I took off. They just left me there. I hightailed it out of there. Never looked back. Left all that cool gear and all them sweet guns just laying there. I bet they're still there. Just laying there, you say? Have another on me, pal. All right. A real body. I wonder if we actually gave him any money. Yeah, so he gave us a side quest, too. So it looks like anybody with a little prompt icon will grab a side quest from them. And that's surprising because already there's been like three or four people like that. Now I'm telling you, that's bad intel, Gulo. Jimmy, you just need a tiny gulp, Marsh. No, you don't get true swill if you don't give true talk. Uh, I speak the day's true, Marsh. Violence destroyed. Yeah, right. Blown right to shit by mega bad tech mutants. Uh, I ain't biting good luck. Uh, You're just looking for a free fix of swill here. Vineland is gone. See? I was talking true. Don't glug it all at once. <laughs> Ranger, huh? <laughs> oh, I haven't seen a ranger here in a long time. John Marshall, legendary resistance fighter, war hero. We grew up on stories about this guy. 73? I admit, I was expecting something more impressive. 70 fucking three? He doesn't look 73. Well, I guess so. Seems impossible. Vineland's defenses were impenetrable. So we all thought. We weren't ready for them. We weren't ready for the authority. They're back then. I'm guessing you'll hear about the Dagger Project. Problem is, we're under a whole different kind of siege here. Muties. They're clogging up our power turbine in the sewers. Now, if uh, someone was to take care of that... If that's what it takes to get Dagger online, show me what to kill and where. <laughs> you catch on fast. I sent down every Renner killer who walked in here. But they all end up dead. It won't take long. <sighs> Enter the sewers! Okay, so we got like a lot of side quests. It might be good to grab them all just in case they're related to this. If they're related to this, we might be able to kill two birds with one stone. Intel traders sell valuable information about locations that may be of interest to you in the wasteland. The arc chest location contains rare upgrade items. It's told me that like four times already. Questions? I have answers. So this guy's an intel trader, like it just said. 
Arc chest location reveals the location of an arc chest which contains rare upgrade components such as auto parts, and tray boosters, weapon core mods, and augmentation ingredients. Okay, what else does he have? So all of these are... Oh. So he'll give us... But we'll probably find those if we just go next to them, I would imagine, too. So, not sure how important that is. Okay, let's try to grab whatever, um, I guess, side quests we can, just in case they tie in with, with the main quest here. Got a data pad. What do you get the power on? It says enter the sewers. What do you say? Go back to the. Uh, how do we see our quest? Map, log, inventory, nanotrites, weapons, log. Missions, project dagger, blackout, enter the sewers. Yeah, but it just says. Okay. I don't, I don't know what he was saying, but. Marshall sent you, huh? Third one this week. Let's hope you got something they didn't. I've got pretty decent reaction speeds. And I love games like this. Even though I don't really play them a lot on my stream. I do like that how they have pink as sort of the, the um, color of this game. And they use it in a lot of situations already. Uh... Why is... <laughs> Call elevator? So he said get the power back on, but we don't have any quest objective for that, so I'm not sure what he where he wanted Perfect us to go. To come back to gun barrel, eh, Ranger? So we got like a bounty here too. Bounty possibly rats. Ah, I'm not gonna take any of this side stuff. There's like a shitload of side stuff already right off the bat. Yeah, he said something about going to the market, but there's no quest update, so I don't know what he wants me to do. General traders both sell and buy various common items as well as rare upgrade items such as nanotripe boosters and weapon core mods. What the fuck? Why can't I figure out? We go to log, and then we go to missions. We're doing blackout, and it just says enter the sewers. Project Dagger, Wasteland Celebrity. These are all like, yeah, all these are the main quests. Completed the Ranger. What do you want me to do, dude? He said something about turn on the power. I have no idea where that's at, man. <laughs> it just leads me here. There's an underground stream down in these old sewers. We hooked it up to a turbine generator. Makes us completely independent. As in, we got our own power supply. We don't have to buy no feltride from greedy traders fixing the market and playing dirty. Mother Nature provides. And how's that working out for you? Well... Apart from the occasional wrench in the works, like, uh, say, a beauty infestation clogging up the turbine, we're good. We got our own juice. Plus, there's always a gun for hire to do the jobs if things go south. That's what I am? A hired gun? Hell no. You're a ranger. That's a whole different enchilada. Whole lot spicier and meatier. Just making sure, Marshal. Just making sure. Okay, I have no idea why the fuck... Yeah, but I thought I did call the elevator on. I, uh, I saw the call the elevator button, and I pressed it, and I thought it, it, it looked... It didn't look like anything moved, so yeah. I guess we had to press it, but it, it looked like it was already up. Uh, regardless, okay. Let's go down here. Ooh. Yeah. That is nice. I really love that choice. Yes, just make the person fast slide down. We don't need, like, a slow... A slow fall. A slow crawl. Okay, reach the sewer turbine. There's like these data pads everywhere. Several fake mustaches. <laughs> That's not a data pad. Um, I 
Yeah, this was very similar to Rage 1. I remember, like, one of the first missions was you had to go through the sewers and clean out some, uh, some of these guys, these muties. The lighting for this game is really good, too, right off the bat. And I gotta say, yeah, obviously it goes without saying, but the gameplay for this game so far is definitely the highlight, so I want to jump hey, into Marsh, killing these things. You know there's an arc down here? Just sitting there. Oh, yeah. Maybe you got the nanotrike config it takes. See if you can't get it to open sesame for you. Please approach for security scanning. Okay, there's a free arc down here, too, so every time we go in here, we get, like, a new power. Security scanning complete. Welcome yeah, we have that dash, and then we've got, like, a force push. So what power is this one going to give us? It looks like there's a lot of arcs too, so I'm wondering like how many powers there are and how you can upgrade them. Shotgun. Oh man, I've only seen these in old hollow logs. Oh, that's right. So it said you can get weapons too. Okay. So we got a shotgun here. Press RT to fire a powerful blast at enemies within a short range. You don't say. Good work. So there is no aim down sights for this thing. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, shotguns are my style. The shells led are mounted into a single solid slug with great knockback capabilities. Never mind, there is an aim down sight. So there's a slug shot if you aim down the sights. And you can shoot them from far away. Ooh! Okay, I like that a lot. Use the combat shotgun's overdrive against the simulated enemies. Use overdrive to eliminate the targets. So overdrive affects the weapons separately? Damn, man, that feels really good. Okay, these weapons feel very, very tight right off the bat. Uh, this one especially. I love that idea of the long-range slug. Ah, the old corridor sweeper, eh? Too many tutorial messages, though, which always fucking happens in games these days. You don't have... I, if I were to design my own game, I would find some fucking way to, like, make it so you don't have, like, 18 million tutorial messages. A lot of this shit, if you've played a game before, I mean, you'll figure out 9% of it, in my opinion. Uh, flying Mayan. Flying my Oh, Flying Mayan. Mayan's not a thing. Thanks for flying. Welcome to the stream. While in the wasteland, you can use focus to locate undiscovered arcs. Look to the horizon and follow the nanotrite beams given off by the arcs to locate them. Arcs contain new nanotrite. Yeah, see, that's, like, literally the four or fifth time it's told me that arcs contain new nanotrite abilities and weapons i know man i know i know sometimes they can be a bit slow but i ain't that slow okay we got some fuck boys up ahead oh that feels so good i'm gonna shoot with the slug now oh man i like this shotgun a lot god this game is so smooth I'm not noticing, like, one frame rate drop, but the animations are so crisp and nice. Oh, uh, we got a lot of nanotrite things, so let's do that real quick. Uh, so how do I know how many of these things I have? In the bottom left there, you can see we've got, like, 697 money, 637 crystals, 6-something, I'm assuming that's nanotrite, and then 0, whatever that fucking thing is. So I think we have 6 of these nanotrite upgrades... Wait, spend feltrite to unlock? Well, then what, is the, what do the nanotrites do? All these are feltrites. Oh, so the feltrites are, is the currency and health increase. Jesus, okay. Wait, so we, do we use that to upgrade weapons then? No, that's feltrites too. Holy shit. Okay. Alright, then we're not going to spend anything yet. We can probably just get by with our talents off the bat. At least for the time being. Okay, so there's storage containers everywhere, it looks like. What are you doing, little guy? That's not nice, whatever you're doing. I know, I know you're not doing anything good. Just a box.
Did you call me a pizza monster? Take a wing stick. Ooh, he dodged that. Use health infusion. I'm tempted to just die. I'm tempted to just die to see the defibrilla defibrillator effect. I'm sure it'll happen at some point, though. I think he called me a pizza monster. That's not cool. Uh, this is really dark, too. Uh, was there some sort of flashlight, or am I thinking of another game? Oops, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Uh, shotgun shells and something else there. Okay, we're maxed out on shotgun shells. I've noticed they're giving us a lot of ammo everywhere. We don't really have to go looking for it, it looks like. Electronic component, mechanical component, and junk. Okay, and there's pickups, like, in every single room. Grenades. Yeah, let's go to the grenades. They seem to be a little bit better than the wing sticks. Just lots and lots of junk, which we'll need for crafting later on. You throw shit at me? This ain't Sekiro! Okay, time to change the, the, um, the sensitivity just a bit. Yeah, this is this is too rigid right now. Let's go two more points on each. And then the aim down sights is probably good. We'll go one. Okay, so overdrive regenerates you to full. And I don't know. I need to see if we want to hold that for, like, boss fights or what. Also, what's this? I don't know if we want to save it or if we want to hold it for boss fights. I'm not sure just yet. Like, I got I got to see if it still stays there, even if we don't use it. Or if it's like a use it or lose it type thing. Okay, these <laughs> a lot of these guys explode. Um, they're not dropping any feltrite though. I guess only the bandits have feltrites. The the mutants don't have any. The upgrade material type stuff. That was slick, man, but not slick enough. I'll give you that. What the hell is that thing? glowing red. I'm assuming I want to destroy it. Okay, that's Feltrite. Yeah, so the Feltrite I thought was just health, but I realize now, yeah, it's, it acts as our upgrade material for upgrade material for pretty much everything. Hey, uh, what's up, Glad Bag? Welcome to the stream, man. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I fucking love that. So if we see a glowy, if we see a little uh, exploder guy, See now, can we? S does overdrive go away? It does. Okay, you gotta use overdrive when you have it. Yeah. Dude, this fucking combat is fucking sick. The animation. I mean, this is Doom 26. This is better than Doom 2016 in terms of the animation quality. I'm like killing everything's like do you see how they're moving around they're like jumping from side to side this is fucking amazing now the question is is this gonna be fresh the whole game through it, honestly if this combat stays fresh which it seems like it will with all the upgrades and all the weapons um yeah man I gotta hand it to him seriously the animations are just very very nice Okay, so we have like an AOE sort of uh, objective, so we just kind of have to figure out our own way. I'm just going to kind of have fun with this game. I I'm not really going to explore every little location. I would imagine that a lot of it is just extra shit like that. Like Feltrider, like money and stuff. I, I would hope that if we just kind of have fun and run through these areas that we're not going to be missing shit that we're going to need to come back for later. Save it for the boss. You'll need it, bro. But doesn't it go down? It looked like it was going down. If you don't use overdrive, it looks like it'll, uh... Okay, let's 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 make saves. Yeah, I, I was thinking there might be a boss in here. 
Let's make saves in case there is. I do want to see the fucking defibrillator thing, but I don't know if I should die intentionally or not. Hello, gentlemen. Okay, that's a little exploder. If you could come over here, I want to launch you into your friends. Oh, you throw shit, too. No. Yeah, we do not want those guys to get close, that's for sure. I want to be able to pick that up and launch it. I wonder if that's going to be an upgrade or something. Some sort of telekinesis ability. This fucking shotgun is one of the best feeling shotguns I've ever felt in any game. Do we need to jump on these boxes? No. But they are supply crates. I should be breaking them open. Yeah, in fact, if anybody knows, um, if anybody lets me know, is there any sort of, like, missables in these little dungeons and shit that I should be keeping an eye for? Or does it not really matter? To me, it reminds me of Doom a lot with Halo difficulty. Yeah. Yeah, that does seem correct. Yeah. It definitely feels a lot like Doom, which is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, FPS action shooters ever. It was so clean. That... That game was really well liked, but it still, in my opinion, doesn't even get enough uh, in terms of the animations and just how beautiful it was. Uh, in ter again, in terms of the animations, the graphics. Like you said, it's gummed up with some nasty mutant goo. Yeah, you made it all the way down to Beauty Central, and you're still standing. Outstanding work, Ranger. Now you just need to find the lid and crack it open, and you can flush it out. Reboot the sewer turbine. Yeah, I'm hoping there's a boss down here. Uh, I think there was a boss in Rage 1 after the first mission, so... Maybe we'll get to see one. This is probably gonna be a, like, defend the area type situation, I would bet. Oh, hell. That looks like a fucking boss to me! <laughs> yep, and we, got a, and we got a health bar in the top right. Abaddon Warhead. Uh, okay, how do I switch weapons? God damn it, I keep using my... <sighs> It should be a rule that D-pad is how you switch weapons, goddammit. Is it like hold Y? Yep, it's hold Y. Okay, shotgun's probably going to be pretty hard to get the... Oh, it tells us all the shit right off the bat. Uh, yeah, let's go for the assault rifle. Maybe we'll finally get that... Twitch interaction. Well, that was easy. That was not hard whatsoever. Excuse me! Let's do that force push. Next little fucker that gets close to me. There might be more of those guys, though, but he did have a unique health, uh, unique name, so I bet he was the boss. But yeah, that, he did not have that much health. That's what I'm worried about, this game being too easy. Okay, so there's a breaker here. One down, one to go. Okay. I dare ya! Yeah. Bet you regret that, don't you? There's a guy behind me too, but we'll go ahead and pull this. Okay, it's starting to unclog. What now? I want to die here. You know what? Fuck. Uh, kill me. All right, now chat. Look at your screen. Do you have some sort of defibrillator thing? Oh, don't just kill me. What the fuck? I wouldn't have done that. Oh, that's fucking lame. I guess we have to maybe wait. Maybe we have to unlock the defibrillator or something. We had to do this again? Oh my god. I was trying to see if the chat could do the defibrillator thing, goddammit. Do you guys just have like a second to do it or something? It says you have to have your defib... Oh, okay, we haven't unlocked it yet. I see. Ranger, 
Major, there are two switches in total. You gotta flip them both. I feel like with a game this fast, they should have just made the weapon switching on the D-pad. Why didn't they? You have to, like, hold Y and then switch. It's an odd choice. Could have just hold Y to do the health pack thing, but... One down, one to go. Okay, it's starting to unclog. What now? Once it's all flush, close the lid. That'll be the turbine. Man! Yeah, I really like these guys' movesets because they kind of dodge, duck, and dive. It can be tricky to hit them, which makes it more challenging. Okay, so we got to go back to the main thing now. Yeah, none of these dudes are dropping that upgrade shit. We're going to go ahead and pull this, but there's other ones in here. Leads what? Directly into your <laughs> fucking office? Well, the power wasn't on, so we couldn't use it. But okay, that that would have been really convenient. Now that's one for the books. It was me, Doc Kavasir, Lucem Hagar, and your own Sergeant Prowley. You do know Sergeant Prowley. Dead. You raised me, made me into the killing machine I am today. I figured you have that uh, extra something about you. Like you've been trained by the meanest and the best. She didn't make it. She was killed in the attack. I'm sorry to hear. That explains why you're here, I guess. Filling in for Prowley. Whatever it takes to crush the authority. Amen. By the way, what's your handle? Call me Walker. Walker it is. Yeah, right. Ranger Walker. There you are. Let's do it. This is my armory, my base of operations. From here, I'll be able to start working on Project Dagger. Now, with the juice flowing freely again, there are a few more projects I could use some help with. I bet there is. Walker, these projects come with benefits for you, too. While I'm setting up Dagger, you might as well get beefed up for the grand goddamn cataclysm. It's the second time I've heard you know, but I should get Project beefed up. Dagger involves you driving a jury rigged tank into a door. Alone and manually distributing a nanotripe murder Mickey into the Grand Ghoul himself, General Cross. Sounds like fun. Guess I better get busy then. Guess you better. I'll reach you on the comm box when I need you. To be done with him? I thought we were gonna have to do like a bunch of jobs for him, basically. It popped up after you died. It's there, but it didn't do anything. Yeah, we have to unlock the ability for the defibrillator, I guess. Which ho I hope we get soon, because I want to see how it works once on the stream, at least. Come on, Vanna. What do you mean, come on? That beard is lovely. He has a quite a nice beard. Congratulations, you've unlocked Marshall's projects. These are mainly focused around combat. Select view projects. Oh, so each person has their own projects. Kill and destroy, capture and control, search and recover. So this is the scientist man... This is the lady, uh, and then this is this guy that we just found. I like the sound of that. Uh, weapons and shit. Um, so we have six, you guys can't see, but we have six project points. Okay, so I have to learn all the nomenclature of this game, obviously. So we already unlocked this, that was our vehicle. So what is the basic projects? Let's see. Unlocked overdrive multiplayer, increases the cap for the overdrive multiplayer to ten times to enable more overdrive and feltrite cells to be generated from kills. Uh, I am always down to get more money from the bat or more upgrade points from the bat, like in Fallout with the knowledgeable or whatever the perk was where you get like extra skill points. I like that shit a lot. So if we get if we're gonna get more feltrite cells so we can upgrade more shit, that sounds good to me. So we're gonna take that. 
Now, what about these? We can, like, max out this whole tree right now, unless these are, like, hidden ones. We've got grenade arc projection. Displays a predicted throw arc while cooking a grenade. I like the sound of that. Overdrive magazine refill. Instantly refill the weapon magazine on overdrive activation. I like the sound of that, too. Vehicles extension. Store more than just arc vehicles in the vehicles menu. Okay. I don't know what that means, but I will take it to max this out just in case we get an achievement. No achievement. That's okay. All right, so we have this whole tree maxed out already. Then we got this guy's tree. Marshall's projects are mainly focused around combat, complete locations, and activities tied to kill and destroy to earn more operation power from Marshall's operation. Doing so will also earn you project points, which can be used to purchase projects. So... I'm not sure what we're going to do with this playthrough chat. Um, I will say I'm really enjoying how this whole game is set out right off the bat. Way more, as I keep saying, than I thought that I would. Um, I thought this was going to be much worse. So I'm getting the feeling that it's the type of game where you get the true ending or you get the like best feeling if you do everything for everybody. So if that's the case, we might just like literally max out this game and you know do all the people's shit that they want me to do. I'm not sure, but... Let's look through this. Some Marshall's projects are available from the start, but others require you to unlock new tiers by leveling up his operations. You increase operations level by completing locations or activities that are tied to his this ally. In Marshall's case, kill and destroy. So he's purple. So all the purple shit, basically. Gotcha. Okay, that's a big tree. Uh, so we only have the first tier available, uh, available, obviously. So let's see. Carry 25% more of each type of bullet ammunition. That sounds really good. Especially because of it's giving us constant ammo and shit. Throwables bag carry up to six throwables of each type. That also sounds really good. Pain resistance reduce shakes and blur when taking damage. Eh, I could deal with that. Surprise attack. Any attack on an unaware enemy deals five times damage. That sounds nice. We get a five times damage bonus if we, like, we're stealthy. And then grenade tennis. Grenades can be deflected with a well-timed melee strike when the grenade is flying through the air. Holy shit, man. They're really doing a great job on, like, all the aspects of this game so far. Like, you don't find little mechanics like that as upgrades in, in a lot of games. You just, you know, it's like passive shit. Like, you deal, you deal extra damage with this. That's really cool. Uh, okay, well, let's just take the passives, ironically, as I say that. Yeah, let's take the bullet bag. That sounds really good. And we'll take the uh, throwable bag. So we can carry more of that shit now. Okay, and that's all of our project points. We have zero. Grab whatever. You'll need every edge you can get. Yeah, so far I feel pretty edgy. I'm going to be real. Although I will take all your shit. Yes, don't mind if I do. So is there not some sort of main quest for this guy now? Or are we kind of just done? I know he's got, he's got to give us more main quests. Like, what's going to be the... Oh, we missed, like, a data pad back there, didn't we? What's going to be the meat and potatoes of the game, you know? This thing. Intel attained Black Baron visions. Woke from a nightmare with the with a yelp this morning. It was about that damn Black Baron. I'd hope to never think about him ever again. I dropped a building on that murderous bastard, and I still ain't sure he's really dead and gone. I'd take a crew there to dig out the body just to be sure, but with all the muty business I'm needed here, at least I know we killed the last of his crew. Cost me 30 of my best guys to do it, though. It hasn't been long since those old friends have visited me in a nightmare either. Yeah, we keep getting all of these little quests. Right off the bat, we have a lot of quests. There it is, my little dagger puzzle piece, the Scrambler. You're gonna need it if you want to get past authority ground sec, but it still needs a bunch of work. Okay. I assume you're talking about this, right? So give it to me. I guess we can't take it yet. Another data pad. Holy shit, Intel attained. Message from E. Prowley. John, a long time ago I learned from Jack what his people did to all that ARC tech they had assembled during the war. Jack had his people lock it up in old ARCs to serve as da depots for the commandos. Weapons, nanotrite dispensers, all safely stored. I've investigated a few ARCs and it seems only verified rangers are allowed access. I'm sorry I kept this from you for so long. I know I put violin before our friendship. Sorry, sorry about Jack. I was with him when he died. Is Jack the main character of the first game? Not entirely sure. Okay. I think they're counting how many times I'm saying off the bat. I'm unintentionally saying it a lot, I would guess. Uh, I guess we got everything in here right off the bat. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get the fuck out. So if this is the case, we'll probably just get each... I think we'll just meet each of the three people. Uh, because that looks like a lot of fun missions. In a very short time. Um, yeah, I kind of want to just dive into the story as opposed to doing a bunch of side stuff. 
Uh, okay, more data pads, I'm sure. God damn, there's a lot of data pads. Greenside Lookout MIA. I've been working on Gun Barrel's early warning system. Got a big lookout tower to the west, keeping us, helping us keep an eye out for anything nasty coming our way. I think something has happened to our watcher. She hasn't checked in for two days, and her old car is gone. Fear the worst. As soon as the muties are dealt with, we should send a patrol. Each one of these is a side quest? I'm getting the feeling that these gotta be pretty... Pretty quick side quests. To me, it sounds like you need to not take a swill. I work for Marsh Exclusive. <laughs> I get them all the goods and blow down dirty dirt on all that's going on here in GB. In the big wasteland. Wellspring. Everywhere. Even Vineland. <laughs> Marsh took me in, see? I was fading fast in the gutter, getting by one hustle at a time. <laughs> Small kid, too. Already hitting the swell hard, getting flunkers on huff if there was no drink. Are you speaking uh, English? He got me out of shit city and kept me warm and fed. <laughs> he keeps me in top shelf swill, too. <laughs> Not the real rock guy I used to swig. Oh, it's good. It's a good life. It's better than being dead. <laughs> okay. I thought that backstory was gonna lead somewhere. Look, I'm sorry about Vineland, <laughs> but don't expect much sympathy around here. People don't think highly of Vinelanders. <laughs> I'll see you around. Maybe we'll do work together. <laughs> got a feeling our paths will cross. <laughs> I got that same feeling because obviously you're an actual voice actress. They wouldn't have a character like that for no reason. So I was thinking, yeah, we might we might get together too. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> I guess it's just okay. It's like a future iPod, I suppose. All right, so let's get out of here, and then we'll take a look at our map and figure out what the hell we want to do. There is so much, man, so much. A lot, a lot, a lot of things. That person has like a side quest for us too, but at this point, it's too much. It's too much. As well. Then taking the face of a man. I can't take in your face because it looks like you're glitching out and your model is invisible. And your audio's gone too. Okay. <laughs> we have seen a decent amount of bugs already, surprisingly. One day the goon squad just rolled in and took everything. Gotcha. Killed my people right before my eyes. They used to be small time, nothing to worry about. Now they're everywhere with fancy guns, lots of supplies, and they kill without mercy. You look like one of the old rangers. Know that it would make me feel better if those goon swine got what they deserved. Yeah, well, man, my list of killing people is very long at this point in time, dude. Yeah, there's literally an invisible guy here. <laughs> the Bethesda Blessing. Yeah, so far we've seen, like, two, two typos. Uh, one guy's audio being cut out, and then this guy's invisible, and his audio is being cut out. Um, that's like the list of bugs thus far. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at the map here. So, yeah. What is our, like, log? Missions. Project Dagger. That's the overall one. Wasteland Celebrity. Okay, that's going to meet the lady. Ground Control is going to meet the doctor. And then we've got, like, a million fucking side quests already. And there's even more in this place. So, like I said, I kind of want to just meet the people first. This doctor, we've already got two reputation points for. Uh, return to Marshall. Oh, we need to get to level five for the next, like, quest for this guy, I guess. Okay, well, let's just go meet whoever's closest then. Um, it looks like this one. Yeah, this is Wellspring. So this apparently is the one from... This is the one from... Oh, shit. This is the one from... Uh, Wellspring is the town in the first game, from what I understand, if I remember right. And I remember that name, Hag Hagar, too. So I think she is the daughter of the main guy in uh, in the first one. Uh, I'm loving this game so far. Um, yeah, I, I don't really even have any like negatives. I mean, yeah, bugs, but who cares? If the bug's not game-breaking, I normally don't give a shit. Uh, so we're here. Is Can I like fast travel out of here? Or... Is there fast travel, even? Oh, uh, there might not be... Wait, is this the entire map? It looks like there may be some hidden stuff up here. Okay, well, yeah, let's just drive over to uh, the lady. And if anybody in the chat is a big Rage 1 fan, I guess now you're going to be able to see the first... Uh, Perfect time. 
Ranger. Power's back online. Outstanding work. Thank you. It feels so appreciate. It feels so nice to be appreciated in like a post-apocalyptic setting. That never happens. Is my stream very laggy? Activating. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's put this on our map. There we go. Um, Chad, are you seeing any lag? I am, uh, there should not be. How is the stream? Are we good? Walker, I'm gonna ask you to go out on a limb for me. I want you to go see an old war buddy of mine. He lives alone out in the wetlands. Now you and me and everyone else fighting a good fight. Does this matter a whole lot? I'm gonna need you to go check on him for me. Yeah, I'll go. I just love it when you're all secretive and mysterious like that. Thanks, Walker. It means a lot to me. Okay, I hope Walker chills on the fucking one-liners. I always find that shit way too corny. I just got an achievement called Over 9,000. I'm assuming because I, I was boosting to over 9,000 or 90 miles an hour. I, I don't know. But that just an achievement just popped. Trader roaming. Found roaming the roads in the wasteland. The roaming trader offers a large variety of goods that you can buy from. You can also sell your junk to them for profit. Honk your horn to get the trader to pull you over and open... Get the trader to pull o over an open shop. Okay. Yeah, I think we have a decent amount of shit that I need to sell. I probably, if I was in a post-apocalyptic setting like this, wouldn't really want to uh, be advertising <laughs> that I've got a lot of shit that would be very easily stolen. The blacked out parts of the map are unexplored sections. Yeah, we'll see. It looks like it's all on you, Diamond Place. Sorry, man. Okay, hello, the loquacious wanderer. How do I trade with you, friend? Oh, there we go. Hi. I am Garcia the Gregarious, trader and traveler, merchant of fine merchandise. <laughs> Pray tell, who may you be? I may be Walker. Are we really speaking like this? <laughs> well, of course. That is how we show our caliber. And that is why you want to trade with only me. My wares are quite... superb. Let me then scrutinize your vendables. Oh, with pleasure! I know I have something to tickle your fancy. Okay, so they said we can sell junk and here's our junk. Um, and we can, it says you basically you only just, you sell it, so we'll sell it. I have 68 of them. Okay, we made a decent amount of change from that. Uh, and what do you sell, friend? Ammo, ammo. I don't think we'll ever have to buy ammo, given how much they've given us in the dungeons. Uh, ammo, ammo. AP cruise missiles? How the... F okay, I guess we'll have a cruise missile launcher. That doesn't seem practical. High X mortar bombs. Uh, vehicle mounted. Oh, these are for our car. I see. Wing stick upgrades. We got some upgrade schematics, but they're very expensive. Okay. And then what is this? Nanotripe booster. Enhance your nanotripe abilities by upgrading them with perks in the nanotripes. Yeah, I thought I... It says we have 10, so it upgrades our perks, but it was using feltrite from what I... Hey, I was looking through your shit, man! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's actually really cool that they did that. <laughs> that's actually really fucking cool. Uh, I'm sure it really sucks, though, when you're about to buy something and then he just drives off. Not only is the Phoenix great to drive, but it's deadly as well. Press LB to fire and tap RB to switch between weapons. Hold RB to access the weapon loadout. I think we only have the minigun, though. Use Y and L to dodge attacks? How the hell are we going to do that? Oh, this is the type of shit where you got to be, like, directly on him. Dude, this game is so pretty. I can't even... Like, are people seeing how fucking pretty this game is? Like, the lights, the... Achievement unlocked the enemy of my enemy? I think they just exploded back there, and I got some sort of achievement from it. Yeah, man. I mean... The number one thing I really gotta say about this game off the bat is just that it is I'm fucking... I'm telling you, the Trade Coalition would love to have that outpost back in rotation. Okay, I need to find some fucking way to, like, quick turn, man. There has to be some quick turn button. 
some handbrake button. All right, what is that? I yeah, I need to find a better way to do that. Um, controller layout. Uh, land vehicle. Handbrake is B. Oh, okay. I guess I thought that that was exit the vehicle. There we go. Um, so there we go. Okay. Now where are we going? There. Yeah, this game is extremely pretty. The fucking lighting effects, everything about it, it it's got such a such a sheen on it. Find Lusum Hagar in Wellspring. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. I fucking hate it. By the way, one thing I really hate about games is when they um they put you, they have you have an objective, they have you get to an objective right, but then it's like, okay, now go the next length to the actual person. They just did that. Like, I thought I was about to meet him, but then it's like, now, keep going. Now, just fucking put the objective where it is, you know what I mean? Wellspring, finally. Now, let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lusum Hagar. God, see, look at the art design on this fucking game, man. I just, I, there, I'm, if I keep harping on shit, it's just because I seriously was expecting this to be like Rage 1 Part 2. Like, just kind of a standard game for the time. Uh, I'm just like so surprised at the colors. It, it, it's it's very 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 pretty game. You, you're not getting in here. Go back to your discount rack in the sewers. No, I'm getting in. Trust me, I'll kill you if I have to. Welcome to Wellspring. Thanks. How do I get in? It, our objective's right over there. I don't know if we're gonna have to sneak in. What I did see there was a ladder. Over that way. That's some choice duds you got on there, bud. You look like Looks you like a. Grew up on some you took wait. Off of a, oh, a real ranger? Now piss off. Welcome to Wells. Yeah, am I supposed There's to talk to you or what? Police in this place than just keeping roughnecks in check. Nobody gets in here looking like some wasteland slum scum. We got standards in Wellspring. Feel me? Don't I look better than all of you? I've got like a high tech suit on. There's more to police in this place. Okay, you tire me. You tire me, Lance There's Havoc. More is there more? Is there more to policing? I, I do. I did, I wasn't sure. Is there more to policing this place? Grandma, is that you? Got dirt in my eyes. Standards in Wellspring. Feel me? Oh, hey! <laughs> it's another ranger. <laughs> Say, you people, uh, you still uh, help others out like you used to? <laughs> you know, like back in the ranger heyday. I've heard all the stories. <laughs> See, my grandma used to be a ranger, but she's old. I worry about her. She lives out there by the racetrack alone, tinkering with her inventions and just being plain old strange. I keep telling her to move in with me, but nope, oh no, she won't have it. If you rangers are uh, still a help, would you mind telling her to come live with me here in Wellspring? Another ranger? Maybe I could, if I'm headed that way. Yeah, this guy's not telling the truth. I can't believe there are still rangers around that do that. No, they said there was only one ranger left. They're not just gonna have some random grandma be a ranger, I don't think. So what the fuck are we doing? I mean, it looks like I can go right in there, but I feel like they're gonna start shooting at me or something. I will kill them. I will kill them. It's 10-1, you know? I don't know, friend. This game is beautiful, almost as beautiful as you. Oh, you. Man, looks don't impress me. Uh, yeah, but I've never been one to like, you know, people say graphics don't matter. Dude, we're entering a time where gr where graphics and art direction and just how a game looks is, is, in my opinion, very important. Do you think Horizon Zero Dawn would have been as popular if the, graf if, if the game wasn't so goddamn over-the-top beautiful? I don't think so. Graphics are a huge importance and art direction is a huge importance. And I just got to, like, yeah, I'm, we're credit where credit's due. This game is really doing a good job so far. Almost as beautiful as Teeters in that selfie put on the Discord. Ooh, has Teeters revealed himself? Another mod to be revealed. This guy's hand gestures, lol. Love his gesticulating. Now that's a word. Hey, good night, Serata. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, have a good night and uh, dream of this game and and seeing more of it or don't or dream of cows exploding or something. Whatever you want. I'm just gonna go through here, okay? I guess they don't. Just do everything you can to avoid Okay, I, I thought they said I can't go in here, yet I just walked in. I don't know, okay. I must be mishearing a lot of shit so far. Yeah, this is, I think, the first town in the original game. It looks, from what I remember, yeah, it's the same thing. 
So I guess they hit the big time because I remember back then it was a very shitty area. It didn't. It didn't look like this. Stop right there, shit stain. We're unlocked. There's no need for that type of language, Mister. I'm looking for the mayor of Wellspring. Now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are in lockdown. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day. Yeah, it's not gonna work Why? for me, though. Something happened? Nope. I aim to keep it that way. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The mayor has bigger problems than you, Sideshow. Now, as I said. Hear that? Oh, I'll let you handle it. Why did you close this? <laughs> Why did he close that? No, you guys got it, right? What what's a shit stain gonna do to help, right? I'm just a shit stain. No, you've, you've got it. You guys good? Need any help maybe from a little old shit stain? Oh, did you die? Well, that wasn't the same person, but... Looks like Sydney Quick Draw didn't have that much of a quick draw. Alright, let's fuck these people up. God, that feels so good. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, I'm getting a little too ballsy now. Whoa, somebody has like a Gatling gun or something. Uh, I need to switch over to the... Let's use the pistol. We haven't been using that at all. God damn, how many grenades y'all have? Here, take one. I got, I got some too. Looks like a job for some more grenades. There you go. That, oh, she caught it and threw whoa! <laughs> She fucking caught that shit and threw it right back at me. Again, the animations, man. The animations are nuts in this game. <laughs> Clipped him. Nope. Did you all see that? Did you all see that? She literally like hopped up, grabbed my grenade, and threw it right back at uh, right back at me. And it was so seamless too. It was so fucking cool. Okay. Well, this shit stain did what all you guys couldn't do. Rip. So we need to ride this elevator up to. Uh, are we in that big giant building? No, because we still saw it on the outside, didn't we? All right, this pistol is not that great. We need to switch to the uh, assault rifle here. You think you can catch a bullet too? Yeah. Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the dagger project. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. I'm here about the dagger project. Huh. Just a very exclusive list knows about that project. And you're not on it. I am totally on the list. Crowley sent me. Crowley, huh? Crowley's dead. Vineland was raised to the ground. She's a holog... I, I can't explain. I'm Walker. The last of the Vineland Rangers. God damn it. More of these assholes! Ranger, let's take these fuckers out. Then we'll talk. You got it. They gunned down your people, I gunned down them. Maybe you will prove useful to me after all. Shit, you have no fucking idea. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up, man. Sounds like a job for my little old shoddy. Yo, this game is fucking really good. This game is really fucking good, man. Okay, you son of a bitch. You know what? You got the skill for 
the kill, I grant you. <laughs> These goons are thoroughly dead. Not what I expected from your boxed-in little compound. You're different. You ready to talk now? Yeah. Let's talk. Okay. Hello, my name's Walker. You want to tell me what's going on here? Dagger was designed to stop the authority once and for all. How many fucking data pads, dude? Okay, I'm on it. Oh Excellent. shit, I skipped that whole dialogue by accident. Get into Clegg's office and stick it on his computer. Okay, hopefully it recaps that because I just accidentally skipped that entire fucking mission. Just um, take the gizmo already. You know what to do. Fine. Here, give it to me. I don't even know what it does. I need to reread that. How many fucking data? There's too many data pads, though. That's my one thing. There's too many fucking lore dumps and data pads. Until attained Wellsprung, Wellspring Public Library, Mayor Hagar, I just want to say that thank you for giving us the space to store the collection of books that we've been able to put together at City Hall. The townspeople are still a little tricky to convince on account of many of them being illiterate, but the picture books are already very popular. The collection grows with every visiting trader, and I can't wait to see what we'll get next. Okay, I like her moxie. She's my favorite character so far. The old guy was cool, too, though. Uh, but we're about to meet, like, another older guy. Okay, we got this one. Mako Goon Spotted. Boss, I know you're not sleeping well just now, so I don't want to disturb you at night. I don't... It's always just kill these people. Basically, you can reduce everything in a lot of these data pads to go out and kill these five people. Data pad. Southeast Elevator. Good evening, Mayor Hagar. The elevator at the southeast of the edge of town has supposedly been out of commission for months now, but I pressed my ear to the door on my patrol last night, and I can definitely hear something down there. Sounds like a bunch of yahoos messing around. You want me to break down the door? Just give me the nod. I have some explosives in the arms locker and can send a team down there whenever you want. Yeah, we're getting, like... Again, I don't know if each one of these is a side quest, but it is a lot. I I'm going to assume that none of these are time-sensitive, hopefully. So, I hope we don't lose that on these if I don't do them right now. Uh, Wyatt Ferris, new office. Hey there, Chief. I was wondering if there was any news about finding me a new office in town. My days are spent between a dumpster full of Mary Blood's uh, offcuts and a shack full of crap that smells like a dead body anyway. At least it doesn't smell like crap, right? I don't want to complain, but the smell just won't wash out of my clothes. I've started sleeping with my mask on, Ferris. Okay. Any more data pads? If we hold this, can we, like, see data pads through walls and shit? Yeah, didn't it show collectibles or something? Uh, she's got a gun that's glowing purple. That's interesting. Okay, let's take a look at that mission that she just gave us. Log missions, this one. Wait, what? Marshall? I guess we just got that? Because we must be level 5 now, I suppose. Where's our level at? You must be level 5. No, but the thing needs to be level 5. Wait, what the f When did we get this? No idea. Okay, this is the one that we just got, though. Lucem Hagar of Wellspring, daughter of war hero Dan, ha Dan Hagar. She went from... Uh, talk to the bouncer at the winner's lounge. All right, well, unfortunately, yeah, I accidentally missed all that shit, but talk to the bouncer for some reason. I don't like how it doesn't give us, like, an actual quest description. It just, it just has the overall dagger, Project Dagger quest. It doesn't tell us, like, each little quest. Talk to the bouncer at the winner's lounge. Okay, we'll track that. Yeah, sorry, Chad. I have no idea what she told us to do. Because um, I was trying to pick up the data pad, and if you hold X, it skips the, uh, skips the conversation. Uh, Pop-Tart, we already did a... a, a plastered, man, so I'm going to refund those caps. Yeah, Teeters redeemed a plastered today. These NPCs swear as much as salty GV. I never swear. I'm glad GV's enjoying this. Yeah, I'm not putting on a face, folks. I can tell you that much. I am very surprised at the quality of this game. I was expecting just a new, a decent, like, average game that's totally skippable. I think he's dead, pal. Okay, good luck. Alright, so there's a bar over here. If anybody watched another stream and knows what she wanted us to do, feel free to let me know. I would like to have some sort of context. This is Clegg Clayton's Winner's Lounge. You're no winner, you're a loser, so get lost. Suck my dick. Forget it. You ain't got the juice to get past the rope. Let me in. I'm a ranger. I don't give a fuck. No one gets in here who isn't rich or famous. You're neither. Come on, there's gotta be a way. Sure, you can get in by winning. Winning how? Win at Mutant Bash TV and win the Chaz Car Derby. Become a champ. Easy peasy for someone as dumb as you, right? Probably, yeah. Yep. 
You make yourself a champ, you can just waltz on in and meet the man himself. There's no other way. Not for you. Okay. So Mutant Bash TV, I think, was uh, in the first game. Any luck? You get past that Boundzilla at the door? There's a way in. I gotta go kill the shit out of some muties on TV and grind some metal in the racing circuit. Become a champ. Should be a breeze. Uh, oh, let's hope you've got what it takes. Those shows eat up folks like gobbling down peanuts. I'm sorry, isn't she the mayor? Doesn't she have the ability to just let me in? I, she probably talked about that when we skipped it. Uh, I saw a data pad over here. Get the gear or get. Yo, you know what? We'll, we're just going to skip these data pads because each one is like a quest. And when we end up doing these side quests, we'll just read them. Because I'm not going to remember, you know, these like 20 different side quests. So yeah, get the gear or get. If we open the entry... Yeah, each one is here. So, God, look at all these. What the fuck? They must be... That must be quality. Quantity over quality. Because that is that is way too many. They, they, they all can't be that different. I bet a lot of those are going to be the same. Um, okay, so... We need to... Yeah, why don't they have a quest? Am I missing something here? Info, tutorials... Yeah, we have missions. We have Wasteland Celebrity. Yeah, they just told, tell us the objectives. They don't give us any sort of synopsis, which is weird. Make a name for yourself in Mutant Bash TV. Make a name for yourself in the Chaz Car Derby. Well, I'm much more interested in combat than racing. So let's see. Where's the Mutant Bash TV? Uh, there it is. So it's in town, right? No, wait. Where are we? We're over here. And we need to get over here. MBTV, Killbox, Meat Grinder, Mutant Bash, the most popular entertainment in Mad World. The inhabitants of the Wasteland love to see blood fly at the arena when it's all recorded. Part TV studio and part Gladiator Pit. MBTV, okay. So yeah, let's go do that. And I think, like I said, I think that was a thing in the, um... Is there no fast travel? I guess there is no fast travel. If anybody knows if there is fast travel, please let me know. Because I don't want to waste a bunch of time running over, but... Um, yeah, we did that mission in the in Rage 1, and then that was about the time that I stopped playing it, I think. How are you finding this game? Uh, really, really, really good. Surprisingly good so far. Um, in fact, it's so good that I'm hesitant. Hey, you. Can we talk? Nope. Just I've got way too many side quests, bro. Sorry. I think there was a data pad back here, too. Not only do the river hogs spit at our trade. And a fucking another data pad. Stomach to make their own swill to pedal. I'm in my rights to take action against these thugs in kind. The folks who destroy their distillery by the creek and bring proof will be well compensated. Okay, so some of them are audio logs. Am I fucked by going down here? Oh my god. <laughs> There's like no way down. I think I'm screwed. Dude, there's got to be some way to, like, get out of the city, right, at least? Because the cities are very big. Or do we literally just have to go in and then just walk out? I guess so. Okay, well, how the fuck do I get out of this situation? I made a big mistake. Do you complain about the books in Elder Scrolls 2? Do I complain about the books in Elder Scrolls? Me? Uh, no. Those are optional. You need to pick up these things to, in order to get the side quests. I don't think the data pads are exclusively side quests, but then again, I don't know for sure. No, check it out. Uh, if we go to log, um, missions, world locations. I think all of these, yeah, all of these are like side quests. So I, I'm assuming, or it's Intel. It, yeah, because it's, it's got enemy difficulties. So every single one of these data pads that gives us a little pop up seems to be. Yeah, you get a little side quest. So all of these are side quests that we can do. Um, and it's a lot. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck to do down here, chat. I'm going to be real. Uh, I guess I'm just going to try to drop down. And I'm probably going to end up dying. Because I don't think I can get back up. Maybe there's no falling damage, but I'm not willing to try that just yet. Okay. So unfortunately now, though, we are not... We have to run over to where our car is. And I guess we got to circumvent this entire thing. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. I love how this game looks. I mean, look at this. Have we seen an area like this yet? No. Like, everything we've gone to is completely different. 
Man, I'm... Okay, well, okay, this is just my first impression, obviously. We have to actually give the thing its fair... Fuck! There's gotta be some way that you teleport to your car or some shit. I mean, that's how Borderlands was. Because they knew, like, nobody wants to run all the way back. There's gotta be something I'm missing about, like, fast travel or... Call it, like, whistling for your car or something. Maybe that's what it is. Because the car had, like, a, a an AI on it. So maybe, like, there's a way to get it over to you somehow. Um, but yeah, these are my, my first impression is extremely high. And I'm hoping if this continues throughout the entire game, I'm hoping that this game gets the credit that it deserves. Because I have a feeling it might be pushed under the rug a little bit. Hey, GV, we... Uh, can we see that plastered real quick? I want to admire my handiwork. I totally would. The problem is this is a borderla uh, borderless full screen capture game, which means it's not going to be able. I'm not going to be able to show the desktop unless I quit the game out. So, um, some games, you know, when you alt tab, they minimize. This game is not the case. I mean, I can, but I don't want to make a habit out of this because what I have to do is I have to like bring up my desktop and then. Uh, click the show desktop button, but that minimizes everything. So you should be able to see this now, I'm pretty sure, right? Because I can't see anything. Everything's minimized right now. So there you go. I, I still don't know what the fuck this means at all. <laughs> uh, and then I have to, like, click this, and then I have to click the thing, and then this. And it, it just minimizes everything. No, no, it's all good. I'm not going to exit out, but I just don't. The only way is to either exit out completely or it's to... um um do that and like minimize everything and i have a lot of windows open up opened up right now hey good night kmz uh thanks for playing rage if i had fun watching you play yeah uh sorry to everybody watching for like the lower energy today um i guess i'm still just kind of a little bit hung over from the weekend although we didn't drink that much uh i just feel a little like carved out or something i guess i don't know um so yeah ho hopefully on tomorrow's stream god look at the lighting I know most of you don't even give a shit, and most of you are, are fine, and you, you didn't even think about that at all, but I'm just saying, normally, normally I don't feel so zonked, um, today I feel just a little dumb, uh, hey, what's up, impressions of the game, you can fast travel from the map, to me, I can't seem to fast travel at all so far, um, impressions of the game, uh, yeah, I keep saying this, but, it's really fucking good, right? Uh, to begin with. Bandit post. It looks like they're hauling fuel. Yeah, it's a support station. Topping up tanks for the raider rides and convoys. Destroying that fuel makes the area safer for sure. Yeah, my initial impression of this game is extremely high. Uh, I, and I'm surprised at that. And I'm not just saying that for no reason. I promise. I swear to God. It's very, very, very high. So we just have to see if it remains this fun basically. Seems so-so, but not sure what you do in there. Well, it's an open world game. You do whatever the fuck you want to do. Wait, wait, what? I don't like this GPS navigation, though. It seems to take me on the long routes. Like I said, I'm hoping we can get some sort of vehicle that... Oh my god, if you get some sort of fucking helicopter, that would be amazing for this. I wonder... Wait, it did say... Wait, it did say air vehicles, didn't it? If we go to controller layout? Air vehicle! Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, this really needs, like, a helicopter. Uh, if there's no fast travel in this game, helicopter or something like that is gonna make this... I caught a bright glare up ahead. Really good. Not a rifle scope or a hubcap. Something bigger. That would be solar panels. The Immortal Shroud would use them to power their weapons. Destroying them would mean less raids in the area. Oh, that's, who that's cool how that comes to a stop like that. Whoops! No, don't exit. Yeah, yeah. I will say it is kind of overwhelming the amount of shit they give you at the very beginning of the game. I mean, already, without even visiting the three main people, we have like, I don't know, what, 25 quests or something? Again, I don't know how small they are. They might just be the sort of thing where you clear them up very, very quickly. But, uh... Entering the Mutant Bash TV arena. An eye on your TV screen, cause it's time to crack some muty skulls. Like, look at that! I know you can, and I know you will. But be careful. Those things are nastier than you think. Fucking look at that! When do you see that much attention to detail in terms of, like, a location? They could've just made some fucking shitty building. You know, reuse the same building they've used a hundred times. That's very cool. 
Okay, so make a name. We need to make a name for ourselves in this situation. What time are we at? So we got about like 23 more scheduled minutes, but I am enjoying this quite a bit. Uh, like I said, my fucking, I, I got this little bit of a headache, but actually it is going down that I'm getting um, hydrated. I won't buy games, but in Brazil are very expensive, so I need to be sure. Well, I can tell you, Black Theus ZR, uh, like I keep saying, my, my impression is very high off the bat, but obviously this is the first day of release, so we're going to have to see if it uh, maintains. There's a flying hover bike thing. Okay, well, it says air control, so obviously there's some sort of air vehicle. Hey, good night, Pop-Tart. I don't know if you heard me about the plastered thing, but I'm going to refund you because uh, Teeters did the thing, and we have to keep it for a week, obviously. Do you think you were interested in that new title, Plague Tale? Yeah, I was looking at that. I, You know what? I need to bring that up because I meant to watch the trailer for that, um, and I didn't. I forgot to. So let me bring up the trailer because I was looking at that. It did seem to... Um, is it already released? Because I thought, yeah, it wasn't... Oh, released today. Shit. Yeah, I want to watch the trailer of this. I meant to, but I forgot, basically. The lighting does look sexy. Yeah, again, keep in mind, like, there's encoding going on from OBS to this. So, I don't think you guys are seeing exactly one-to-one -one what I'm seeing. But what I'm seeing... And again, it might just be because, like, I'm, I've never had a computer that could run games like this before. Uh, but it is magnificent. I know I'm a fucking broken record by now. Did you see my selfie in the Discord? Uh, no. If you posted it after the stream started, I haven't looked at any of the stuff. Saw the E3 thing on that, it looked cool. Yeah, I, some people have recommended it, so I want to check out the trailer. Uh, I haven't had time. Alright, this looks to be pretty interesting. I might go for an extra hour. Uh, what I think we'll do is we'll go to um, we'll go to 9, and I'll just see how y'all are feeling. Like, Because uh, I want to know what you guys think about the, the game. But this looks to be a really interesting mission, so let's get this one done. City has sent our way this evening. You, yes, you, stranger. Have you come to join us? Say it is so. Say you've wandered here from off the dark city streets and into this uh, boudoir of pleasure to join our little game because you have a hunger in your eyes. Yeah. You are a big fucking boy right now, dude. <laughs> Do tell me. Is it a hunger for the promises of the flesh I present you with? You're gonna have to show me some other flesh. A thirst, perhaps, for the reddest. Oh, yes, of wise. <laughs> or maybe the insatiable hunger of the true connoisseur the last to kill <laughs> <laughs> you have it the promise of greatness allow us to sate your hunger for the kill handsome and sign here on the line they have contracts in, in, the, in a post-apocalyptic setting that looks like Randy Pitchford, dude, in drag. <laughs> and now, sweet young thing, your journey to stardom shall commence. Kill! Kill for Desdemonia! <laughs> I'm not killing for you. Killing for a much nicer looking woman. By the way, best body of the year award easily. Is there a hotter video game character in any fucking game? I ask you. And I don't even don't even bother answering because let me the answer is no. Uh Yennefer of Vengenberg? Pff, compared to her? <laughs> Might as well be uh Job of the Hut. You know what I'm saying? Okay, make a name for yourself in Mutant Bash TV, make a name for yourself. Yeah, okay, so let's do this one. I guess they're just gonna launch me into it. Probably wanna save. This might be tricky. Yeah, we did do this. Uh, this game must take place a long time. They, they probably said it, but I don't remember. Th this game must, ta must take place a long time after um, Rage 1. Because I think there was a different person that was leading this last time. And then... 
Yeah, Dan Hagar, if his daughter is like 47, that means this must take place, what, 50 years later or 40 or 30? Anybody know? Don't do it, GV. I have to. It's the main quest. I have to. Cat Swinger. What's with that face? Is that the old guy that ran this place in Rage 1? It might be. So look at this. This is what I'm saying. Like, look at the attention to detail with each environment. Like, they didn't have to program this guy doing this funny fucking weightlifting thing. They could have just had a blank hallway and then whatever the fuck's going on over here. Oh, that's a bare ass. Nice. They didn't have to program any of this shit, but they did. Uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Mutant Bash TV. Enter the Mutant Bash TV arena and survive the onslaught. Kill as fast as entertaining as possible to earn a higher score. A higher score means more MBTV tokens to spend at the MBTV gift shop. To challenge yourself, you can use the optional MBTV challenge board to see different MBTV challenges. Okay. So here's the challenge thing. MBTV event registration. Normal, the ranger explode all the things. New to MBTV, start here. No special loadout fight with your own shit. Okay, let's just start easy. Oh, we can... Oh, we can only pick one. Yeah, well, yeah, let's just do the normal one for now. And now, mes amis, for our next contender, such grace, such flair, so debonair, I give you the incomparable beauty mashing water! Okay. You spawning anybody here? Red carpet carnage. All right, here we go. I need to switch to the uh, wing stick. I want to get whatever the gold medal is. Holy shit. I need to remember that you can't zoom in unless you want to do the, uh, slug shot. Woo! We have overdrive, but I'm going to save it. But see, it starts going down rapidly. It's eight, seven... Achievement unlocked, overly driven. Don't know what that is. Why is this guy still alive? Well, he ain't anymore. This game is so goddamn fun, dude. I, I'm i seriously now hoping that this game gets the attention it deserves. The combat is like, it, to me already, it's like a step up from Doom 2016. And Doom 2016 was some of the most fun I've ever had in a video game. What the fuck? Okay, so that gives me felt trite and MBTV tokens. Yeah. By the way, this is, like, unupgraded, too. We haven't really upgraded anything, which I probably should have done before we took this on. And we got a health infusion there. I'm using more health infusions than I would have thought already, to be honest. So I got to be careful with my health, basically. Okay, so this is, like, a four-round thing. One round, two. Normally, I don't like situations like this, by the way. Oh, look at this shit. Look at fucking cool... Man... You had to be laser. Oh no. Oh, I thought that. Use our pistol. Shit. Okay, let's not use our pistol. Fuck! 
We do have overdrive, though. Gotta remember that. How much ammo do we have? We have a lot still. Okay, overdrive time. Dude. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to say it without sounding like a fucking broken record. If this game persists in terms of the, the enjoyment like this, uh, this is just such a mindfuck for me. Rage 1 was not like this, by the way. Rage 1 was okay for the time that it came out, but that's why it kind of got swept under the rug, because it was just kind of average, uh, from what I understand. So, man, talk about a fucking sequel being better than the original. So far, so far. Okay, this is round three out of... Uh, they're giving us tons of ammo, and we can use overdrive to restore health, so I think we're okay. What the fuck is going on there? Okay, we want to stay in the middle then, I think. I don't know if I'm killing in a way that's that's like interesting like they said. But the shotgun's obviously oh shit. The shotgun's obviously the best for this situation thus far. Oh look at that. What's that? Yeah, I think we missed a box last time. I forgot to pick up the boxes of the tokens. One thing I will say that's a really odd choice for this game is having the powers on LB. Okay, first of all, they need to make this better too. Like, trying to fucking open these boxes is, is so hard. It's not like Dead Space, which happens every time very easily. Shit. Time for overdrive. Okay, uh, yeah, one thing that's really weird about this game is that... What the fuck? How are you still alive if it told me- Oh, shit! <laughs> um, two things that suck about this game is, first of all, trying to open these boxes is so hard. Uh, Dead Space, like, you open the boxes immediately. It's very easy. And with this game, it just isn't- I guess you have to crouch and then, like, melee to open them. It's annoying. Uh, and then also they put the superpowers on the LB button, but then with like different directional inputs. So you have to press LB and then a direction to do the dash. And you have to press LB and like up, or LB and X to do the the like force palm. It's just it feels weird. I feel like they could have made, I feel like they could have put that somewhere else to feel better. Okay, last last one. After party ambush zone. Switch to grenades. Out, 
Yeah, the slug doesn't really do that much if they're far away. <laughs> See? It won't fucking open. Holy sh- what, what is even happening? I don't know what those red things do, but I'm not getting down- What the fuck? Something was like slamming me down, I have no idea what that was. A mini gunner? Is he like in the middle? Oh shit! <laughs> okay, that's the boss from the last time. Okay, let's go ahead and use, um. Oh god. We're gonna switch to this, then we're gonna use overdrive. Dude, it just like the action never stops. Uh, okay. What do we? How do we do? Time bonus: a thousand kills, headshots, aggression combo kills, accuracy. Sixteen hundred and seventy-one little. Uh, oh, that was the one icon. I didn't know what it was for in the bottom left. Uh, the the madness tokens or whatever they're called. MBTV tokens. Jesus Christ, dude. This game isn't really something I'm interested in. I, it's like I played this before with Doom, Halo, and Duke Nukem. I'm not impressed. Visuals do nothing for me later. Okay. Uh, hello, Sanguine. My sub didn't show up. If your sub didn't show up and you resubbed, uh, try refreshing the stream. And uh, might give you a prompt, basically. Is that the shotgun from Doom? Um, mm, it's not the same, but I will say that uh, this whole game feels like Doom. And if you didn't know, id Software also made the 2016 Doom. And that, as I keep saying, that's an amazing game. So this whole game, the gameplay feels very similar to uh, to Doom. Um, yeah, this isn't normally the game that I'm interested in either. But <laughs> I this is just the game that I fucking needed, I guess, with all of these recent like RPGs that we've been playing. Uh, I still need to bump up the sensitivity, man. It's like, it's it still feels so slow to me. So we'll do that. Yeah, I wanted to do that that entire time that we were messing around in there. E3 press was so bad for Rachel. I know, I wasn't expecting this at all. I was not expecting this at fucking all. Um, yeah, this is your stereotypical type of game where, like, everybody's just crazy and nuts because it's the post-apocalypse. Maybe because I'm on mobile and that sub didn't show, I reloaded. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Well... Yeah, I'm not seeing it in my notifications, and I'm not sure why, man. Game looks awesome and is fun to watch. Yeah, I wanted. To, I'm gonna. I'm gonna powwow with the chat after this uh, quest finish. So I want to see what you guys think. I'm gonna ask you. So, story is good, or just go and shoot. Uh, so far, well, yeah. I mean, if you play a game where you're in the post, I mean, it's like Doom. It's Doom. You know, it's, don't worry about the story. Story is like I don't know. You're trying to get this like ragtag group of people together to stop this really bad guy. That's basically it. They all want you to do different shit. I, 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 going into this, I knew I'm not playing this for the story. Uh, the gameplay is where this game is excelling. The gameplay and the graphics and the look and the art style is, it's better than so many other games that I've played that have tried to do this sort of thing. That's my trophy! They didn't even let me keep the trophy! 
Come on! I did so much! I mean, we even look like Doom Guy with this suit. Well, guess that was that. I have the badge, so it must have gone through. Uh, yeah, well, thanks, man. I don't know. Yeah, sometimes that happens. I have no idea why, but usually it pops up eventually. You kidding. You really kicked the shit out of those muties. Good job. That kind of quality slaughtering can make you a star. I still gotta get behind the wheel of Chaz Car Derby, though. I know, it's a hassle. But hey, Wellspring thanks you for jumping through all these hoops. No skin off my back. As long as you come through on your end, Mayor. You won't regret this. Yeah, again, aren't you the mayor, though? So, like, can't you just... Do you just have no power? I'm gonna give the game credit and say they'd probably explain that, but... Um... Okay, chat, so, um... Yeah... Uh, let's take a look here. This is this would normally be the end of the stream, but uh, if I stop now, I'm going to have to wait to continue to play this until tomorrow. But I do have a lot of shit that I need to get ready for tomorrow, too. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, we need to... So for this middle person, if you're just joining or if you don't know what's going on, basically these three people on the left, we have to help them each in their little separate territories. And um, for we're doing the middle one, the orange lady now. For her, we have to become a star to get into, like, some high-stakes poker thing or some shit. So we just uh, became kind of a star by winning that MDB. Oh, I wanted to see... Yeah, I wanted to see the shop. I wanted to see the shop and see what we can buy. There it is. Uh, and now we need to go, like, race. They're going to introduce the racing to us. Although we already won a race. Uh, so as we drive over to the racing area, I want to ask you what you think about this game. What are your opinions on it? And again, don't ever feel pressure to, like, agree with me. Uh, look, trust me, I just want to hear your honest opinions. I don't give a shit if you hate it. I don't give a shit if you think I'm totally wrong. I just want to hear what people actually think about it. Trader, MT MBTV, Gift Shop, Mutant Bash TV tokens are good for purchasing, purchasing anything found in the MDP. M oh, my God. We're going to call it M, Gift Shop. More tokens can always be earned by bashing more mutants in the MB, in the M, arenas. That's right. Primo, step on up, killer. What you looking for? I don't know. Something crazy. Dizzy Deluxe can get you anything. Very Just bring me those blood so bash tokens and I'll set you up. Okay, got it. What kind of stuff you got? Bash supplies and mayhem inducing murder apparatuses, of course. And I can get your guns some nice paint jobs as well. If your token pouch is overflowing, have a look for yourself, Basher. Thank you. Okay, uh, so yeah, it looks like it sells a lot of the same shit from the truck that we saw. Pistol, ammo, 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 ha ammo, basically. Weapon core mod. Weapon core mods allows you to purchase weapon upgrades in the weapons menu. Arc chest shops and Intel traders are the best shop sources for finding weapon core mods. Okay, that sounds good. And we got these paint jobs. Massacre pistol, carnage rifle, sanguine shotgun. And a Breeze Whipper Wing Stick. I would like to eventually get decked out. I mean, we already got over half the points we need for this in one round. So, I think I did pretty... I think I did pretty good, hopefully. Uh, but let's buy the Weapon Core mod. We need to upgrade, because we... Oh, we can, buy, we can buy more of these, too. Yeah, fuck it. I'll spend all my money on it. I'm more about the practicality than the aesthetics. Except when it comes to Dark Souls. In Dark Souls, it's all about the aesthetics. Weapon core mods are used to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It keeps telling me... Man, so many games these days, like, give you the same tutorial messages over and over and over and over and over. As much as I love Sekiro, it fucking did the same... Whoa, what? Wait, what? I guess that's how we repair our car? Okay, so as I drive over, I'm gonna... I want to look at what the chat thought. Uh, oops. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's see. So now we need to go to the racetrack. Uh, missions. This one. Make a name for yourself in the Chaz Car Derby. There it is. Okay, so yeah, what'd you think? Seems like my kind of party. I'm so confused right now. Trophy Nopi. I still need to play Far Cry 5 and New Dawn. Uh, yeah, I don't know much about Far Cry, but... Nicholas Rain is the death guy. Well, it makes sense those muties thought so. Okay, that's the first character in the first game. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn was amazing. Can't recommend that one enough. You played a Plague Tale? No. This game looks great. Doesn't exactly look like my style of game, but still looks like fun. 
The game is super fun even to watch. Path of Exile of the Sanguine Siren is a map boss. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah. Well, you all know my opinions about it. Um, we might go for like a little bit more. Maybe after this quest. And then call it a stream. Uh, I just feel very dehydrated still today. <clears throat> and I'd like to drink some more water and relax. But I also want to play more of this game because it's really good so far. Again, the real, the real question is going to be, does it retain its quality? Which Doom did. Doom uh, really did retain its quality all the way through. Although it wasn't that long, even if you 100%ed it. Which I did. I think the lights kind of just failed over there. Make your name for yourself in the Chaz Car Derby. Lusum, I'm at the racetrack. Chaz Car Derby it is. Keep your eyes on the screen. I'm gonna win this. Good luck, Walker. With those psychos you'll be racing, you're gonna need it. Not the biggest fan of racing shit, but normally I can do pretty okay. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to do this. Drink some water. I've been drinking a lot of water all night tonight. Um, I just ate some Chinese food yesterday while watching Game of Thrones. So I guess I oversalted myself or some shit. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this is the first stream where I'm having like a migraine in a while, in a long while. To me, same as any other sandbox. Um... Fostering three more babies. They're two weeks old. You mean pets, right? I think I've seen some of those kitten pictures. Okay, let's go win a car race. I hope we don't have to use our car, because our car does not handle that well. God damn. Look what the ball tall rolling. You here to bet your ass in the race for chairs? Tell me it's so old Nicky Rain. Tell me you sent this wasteland butte to race like a stick of butter on a pile of pancakes. After you, hot sauce. Okay. He's the crazy one. Well, they're all crazy. Racing, baby. I can see you got the grit to be great. You got the meat it takes to take the plate. And you got all the trimmings, too. Got a contract right here, Prime Cut. <laughs> you sign that? Well, you sign in blood. What are the contracts? <laughs> uh, you race your way to the top crust like a knife through sirloin, and you emerge victorious and take the gravy too. <laughs> when do I start? Scritch scratch, we got your John H and we good to go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, you start at the bottom, fresh meat. Get the pity bucket. Prove your sizzle in that slow-mo ride. And then move on up. Simmer to the very top like the slickest grease in a gumbo. <laughs> go grab your ride when ready, huh? Scooter is better than this guy. Eh, they're all kind of the same exact character to me. We're crazy. We don't give a fuck. So that's like every every post-apocalyptic setting in a video game has those characters. It's like everybody. All right, so we got a boost if we hold A. Well, that guy's fucking dead. I <laughs> uh, got an achievement there. Hang time. Uh, B is our handbrake. I gotta remember that. Ugh. Gotta get used to these. Yeah, one thing is the racing controls feel very rigid. Very, very, very rigid. Gotta get used to them. But this car probably sucks ass, too. Dude, fucking look at this game. Look how much quality they put into the fucking racetrack alone. Man. Wait, can I? Oh, shit. That's not a good crash. Yeah, if I look like I'm fucking up a lot, trust me. The, the controls on this piece of shit buggy. Ugh. Ew. God, even the handbrake is awful. I swear. We're off to a very bad start. We 
We're in third place. We're still on the first lap, though. Okay, we can win this. Watery bread. What? 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 Dude. That's fucking weird. It's... Ta okay, it's... <laughs> There's more chat interaction than they let on. They take the names of the people in the chat and make them the racers. Yeah, because Smog's right there to my right, and then Watery Bread's over there behind us. That fucking freaked me out. Oh my god. I, I was like, wait, this isn't online. What the hell? That fucking freaked me out. That was not expected. Well, damn, I'm hoping they have like more secrets then. Like, more uh, Twitch surprises. Oh, shit. Yeah, this this car controls like shit, man. I can't put into words how bad this car is. But we are in first. So we just don't fuck up from here on out. We should be good. God. Yeah, that handbrake. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh my god, it sucks. Damn it. Come on. What the fuck is happening? I don't even know what's happening. Yeah, this car fucking is trash. Oh my god. Yeah. The handbrake might as well not even be there. Yeah, we might as well just come to like slow stops. We're probably going to have to restart this race. Okay, I don't think we're going to win now. Where's the... Ah, fuck. We got to go all out. We're close, though. We're close. I would love to fucking win here. Looks like we got it. Damn. Damn. That car sucks. Auto parts are used to purchase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, they've told me that like 20 fuck fucking times now. I, I know what they're used for, dude. <laughs> I wonder why it only use, oh, it uses smog, watery bread, uh, teeters. No, I guess that's everybody, isn't it? That's probably any, like just random people in the chat. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. New vehicle unlocked Chaz car. Gotcha. Chaz car unlocks in the vehicle's menu. Win races to unlock skins for your Chaz car. Get it? He's from Louisiana. Or he's just Creole, I guess. What does it say? Enters, enter the winner's lounge? Where is that at? Mayor Lusum, I've got it. A free pass to the winner's lounge. Oh. I saw it all on the vid screen. Yes, you really are the shit. <laughs> that was some grade A sportsmanship. What can I say? That's how I roll. I'm on my way there now. Okay, so yeah, any fast travel? Does anybody know? Uh, there's a game called Dominia where you run a gladiator school in Rome. All the gladiators get twitch names and violent, bloody deaths. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, yeah, my, one of my favorites. It, it was an actual ch twitch interaction, but uh, when we did Darkest Dungeon, uh, if you know anything about that game, you know it's very hard, and you constantly have like a rotating cast of party members. And so I would name them after subscribers. <laughs> And um, no matter how well you play, like, it's inevitable, eventually, they're probably going to die because the game is just so hard. Um, and, yeah, it would just be funny to see how certain Twitch members would die, like, through poisoning or just getting decapitated or something. What happened to Kingdom Come? Uh, new game, and I wanted to play it. It's not done yet, but... Yeah, I was wondering if it was an actual soundtrack to... You beat a dragon in a race? Eh, well, you know. It says X to fa What? 
Oh, God! I was looking at the bottom... Oh, my God. I was looking at the bottom right shit. You can't see it because co the webcams are covering it, but there's, like, Toggle Legend, Zoom In Out, Navigate, Set Waypoint, or Back. So I figured... I was looking at that the whole time. Damn it. Okay, so we could have been fast traveling this whole damn time. I knew it! I was like... <laughs> I knew there had to be fast travel. Um, Alright, so what's our log at? Okay, so... Yeah, I really don't like how they do this at all. It, it just gives us a list of objectives. Bro, you gotta give me, like, a synopsis of, like, what's happened and what's gonna happen. Enter the Winner's Lounge. So that is back in Wellspring. Um, I'm feeling... Let's see what all of that was for, right? And then, uh, during the next stream, we can go do the last guy, the scientist man. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's see what this is all about, and then we'll call it a stream, folks. No, what? Go to... Oh, that's why. Yeah, because it, it automatically goes to the little objectives, but you have to hover over the actual town to fast travel, obviously. Okay, that's why also I didn't see it. Okay, thank you. No, I just di I literally just didn't see X to fast travel. Finished Fallout 2 a few days ago and want to thank you because you were one of those that motivated me to play. The game is hard to sell, but it's very worth it. Yeah, man. Uh, I 100% agree. I wish I would have given it... I wish I could redo that playthrough, honestly, because, yeah, I didn't do it justice. It's a very, very, very good and detailed game, but there was a lot of infuriating shit about it. Um, you know what? It, just play it on your own, right? Like, if you try to do a Let's Play of it, it is a fucking nightmare. It's just about one of the worst games you could do a Let's Play on because of how difficult it is to record. And how, like, vague and ambiguous it is. And there's not a lot of online resources for information either because it's so old. Saw you on the killing screen. Yeah, if I could just kill civilians, I'd kill you because you were a complete asshole. You're lucky. I'm here to see Clegg Clayton. Welcome inside, winner. Thanks, bud. I wish I knew what the fuck we were supposed to be doing right now, but it, it just, yeah, it doesn't give you any objective, or it doesn't give you any synopsises. Doom soundtrack was 10 out of 10. Yeah, the guy, uh, Andrew Hulschult, that did either all of the music or a lot of it, uh, I got his permission to use his, um, crazy <laughs> guitar shredding track as, like, the outro for that Doom series. If anybody likes this series, by the way, I do have a whole Doom Let's Play on YouTube, um, from start to finish, and I love that game, so. But yeah, the outro hey, song was, champ. was from that guy. Now everybody knows who I am immediately, they just all instantly know who I am, okay. Uh, there's a dead guy on the... guess you guys are just... Alright. Fair enough. Hey. Hey! Listen up already! I got a great... Nay! Tremendous surprise for you all! Looky over there, dames and dudes! Here he is. The infamous wasteland tycoon, Clegg Clayton. So ego-centered, he's been known to torture people just to get their approval. <laughs> I, the great Clegg Clayton, give you the one, the only, Killer Dealer Walker! Our latest pass kicking champion! I thought that guy just killed himself. <laughs> uh, my latest golden goose, you stick with me. And the sky is the limit. Guy Fieri. You want to make it big? You want to be a star? Well, old Uncle Cleggy Clayton's got your ticket to the top. I won't let you down. What's that? I want to make it big. There's no goddamn doubt. Everybody's got a purpose on this rock, and yours just happens to be being the goddamn best. <laughs> so. What do you say we go somewhere a little more secluded? I may be about to offer you the dealio of a lifetime. <laughs> even though this character, even though this character does all his one-liners, I like that he's just like down for the ride. I like he's, how he's not like the stereotypical like, oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. You know the I, myself, need no introduction. resistant hero. I've already heard of how I took my father's legacy and turned it into an empire. <laughs> 
Of course, everybody knows the story of irresistible Clay Clayton, the orphan multi-billionaire extraordinaire. I guess that was his dad. Here, of course, I know. Everybody wants to see the digs of the wealthiest and most generous man of the land. Ah, here we are. I I know I keep repeating myself, man. This game is so detailed, it's insane. They didn't even have to program like half the detail into this game. This is the innermost core of this high powered Like look at this guy's get up. This is the multi watt nerve center of the Clegg Empire. My office, the cockpit from which I control my vast financial holdings. I am the richest man in town today, but soon power. Yeah, that's great and all. Absolute will be mine. Tremendous power. As soon as that old, decrepit crone, loosesome Hagar, surrenders her mayoral office to me, things here will take. Turn or two for the better. I'll just you wait. I think she looks pretty so, darn good for her age. Not enough for you. You're cut out for something bigger, right? Now let me tell you about my father. My father, my father was a great my man. My father. He, everyone tells me he was a great man, but he built the base of Wellspring. He did, but my father, my father, he lacked the vision to merge power and economics. He was a mayor, but he didn't have any real money. See, I. I do not lack vision, people tell me, and I tell people that I will become the most powerful man in the wasteland. What? What could possibly be so imminent? Oh, right, right. Hold on a sec. Oh, Killer Dilla Walker, baby. I gotta take this. Please, make yourself at home. Pour some swill. Have a soap shot eyeball. They're extra gloppy. Right? Talk to me. Okay, so plant the gizmo on Clegg's no, computer. Okay, so we're working for Loomis or whatever her name is. Um, she's a nice person, or at least, well, not nice, but she's not a gross, horrible person like this guy seems to be. So I guess she gave us a gizmo. I guess she just wants to spy on, uh, wants us to spy on this guy, and to do that, we needed to make ourselves a star so that we'd be noticed by this guy. I guess that's the point. Listen here. Again, look at the fucking detail, man. They put a little fucking golf. That. Oh, yeah, we can just steal all this guy's money, I guess. Nobody gives a shit. Another data pad here. I'm skipping through those because, like I said, we'll do them eventually, probably, and they're just quests, so we'll reread, uh, you know, we'll, re we'll reread the quests when we get to them. Note from Chaz, thanks for the offer, Prime Rib, but I can't... Yeah, again, I think we can reread all this stuff. And we keep getting, like, upgrades to this guy before we even met him. Or, uh, you know, like, whatever it is, Intel. Alright, I think we looted everything from here pretty much. Let's plant the gizmo. All right, Lucem. Gizmo is planted. I know. It's already transmitting data. Good job. Now get out of there. What if I don't? We obviously can't kill that guy. He's being set up to be some sort of villain. Okay, so we've already completed the main quest for the first guy, which was combat-oriented, which is pretty cool. This lady, which is uh, more like uh, mini-game sort of shit, racing and, and the TV thing. That's cool. And then the last guy is, some, is that scientist. I remember he was in the first game. Uh, we met him. Uh, so I don't know what he wants, but he's oh, some old scientist dude. Walker. One more thing. How is decrepit old Lucem these days? We've been betrayed! Surprised. Yes, I just got wind. Nothing escapes Clay Clayton. That's true. My spies and agents are working 27 27 to keep me informed. I guess Clegg got the best of you. I guess you're just a loser after all. Nah. And as these are surely your final moments, I shall let you in on my big reveal. Yeah. I got it all thunk out, you see. You see, I've got the most powerful player in the wasteland in my corner. Who? The authority, that's who. I'm on a first name basis with General Cross. So when they take over, oh boy, oh boy, the sky's the limit. And all thanks to my extremely accomplished negotiation skills. Uh, I guess I'm just the best at everything I do, and you're just a stupid little loosome puppet. Well then, goodbye, loosome puppet. Goodbye! 
Sounds like Aaron Paul, kinda. Tet, we didn't even lose any health from that. Nice plan, dude. Okay, so he dropped us into the sewers again, which I guess we're gonna have to fight our way through mutants to get out of. Or a boss! What a pretty man! And his name's Jumbo! Hello, Jumbo! Okay, yeah, the dash. I gotta remember that. Gotta remember the dash. Okay, uh, let's switch to the Ranger Assault Rifle. Damn it! Okay, so our dash recharges. That is very fun to use. Okay, I'm gonna get used to that quick. Eh, don't throw that at me. That's fucking gross, dude. Do you know how many germs that has? You probably don't, do you? Oh, shit! Eh, took a big hit there. You can have one of those. You can have one of those. That didn't even deal any damage to him. Oh, shit. Gotta watch when he charges. Bye-bye, Jumbo! Life Gland. A mutant life gland bring to the Cyber Dock and Wellspring to augment yourself. Arc Chess, Intel Traders, and Abaddon Crushers are the best sources for finding life glands. Lucy, you read me? Barely. You okay? Yeah, I'm right under Wellspring. Got dumped through the elevator shaft into some kill pit. But the real news is, Clegg is in bed with General Cross. And we can't dally. I'm sending in a strike team for Clegg. He's gonna talk one way or the other. Over and out. <laughs> I like how he's got the hair of the, uh, <laughs> the hair of the, the Clegg guy. Okay, um, that's as good a place to stop as any. I mean, in all honesty, I want to keep going. Um, but I kind of want to save more for... Uh, me having more energy tomorrow, um, which I think will be an even more fun stream than tonight's. Uh, but yeah, that's a really good place to stop, I think. Keep in mind, of course, that we do have our new Twitch schedule, which is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. So that means we don't have to wait another day to play this game, which is a killer for new games. Uh, we'll be able to play this tomorrow at same time, same place, 4 p.m. Mountain Time. Which is what exactly we're going to do. Also, for anybody wanting Kingdom Come Deliverance, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it just yet. Um, I liked this game way more than I thought that I would. And I'm $120 in the hole for it. Because I need to get a receipt from the... Uh... What the fuck? Okay. I need to get a receipt from Bethesda, which I need to do as soon as I end the stream. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's just kind of on hold for now. Uh, but I am digging this a lot. So, uh, we're going to end that here.